we're alive. We're actually live. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to our fun time. Uh, this is going to be session three of this <laughs> campaign, uh, where we will find out if uh, Enthus, in fact, did do cocaine about it, and if <laughs> Kathy is going to get even less humane. And, uh, you know, it'll be a good time for everybody. <laughs> Hello, Pengu. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. All right, Jason, tell us what's happening. Well, sure. Let's uh, start with introductions. My name is Jason. I am your storyteller. Uh, my pronouns are he, him. Uh, and we are in session three of Triptych, a Vampire the Masquerade Chronicle. Um, we have uh, all four players with us today. Uh, I'm going to call on each so that they can uh, let you know about them, their characters, and any pronouns they're using. Uh, and then I will give a quick summary of where we left off. Uh, uh, Spirit Chrysalis, you were absent last session, at least not on camera, so tell us who you are. Okay, sure. Hi. Uh, I'm Spirit Chrysalis. I go by she, her, they, them, or if you're feeling sparkly, fey, fair. Uh, and Enfys goes by uh, they, them, or she, her. Um, and you mentioned other things, and of course I held mention pronouns in my head. What else did you want? Uh, no worries, Sammy. Um, do you want, um, tell us about Enfys. Uh, Enfys oh. is, yeah, uh, her, her uh, their uh, clan would be useful. Both of those are good. Uh, yes, I am playing Enfys, a Malkavian. They are a member of the Coterie. They are a writer of various things, and they are currently having a challenge with their brain. <laughs> really, a very different yeah. challenge than most Malkavians do. <laughs> That's true. Hi, I'm Jilly. Um, she, her. I'm playing Natalie Crane, a Tremere, um, conspiracy theorist and seeker of the unknown. Also goes by she, her. Um, yeah, that's about it. I think. Uh, Renee, do you want to go third? Sure. Hi there. I am Renee. Uh, she, they pronouns. I am playing Kathy Milliner, who she, her. Uh, the uh, Hecata um, mom friend trouble magnet uh, who uh, may have uh, had a bit of a I've learned to live with it moment uh, last session, hence the slightly paler uh, visage. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, and Anna. Hello, um, I'm Anna. I am playing Alexis, who is a salubri, and we both use she, her pronouns. Uh, and people in the audience, if our sound is weird or like mine is different from everybody else's because it's come from different sources, please let us know. <sighs> Fingers crossed for technical things. Absolutely. So far, no ghosts in the microphone, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, just in Enthus's brain. Correct. Just in Enthus's brain. Uh, and no. those of you who... Situations with ghosts or something. So you know what? That's fine. That's fine. Absolutely. Uh, so, uh, for those of you who are joining us for the first time, you can uh, redeem your channel points. You can check out what we've got with the Redeems badge. Uh, you can find out our Chronicle Tenets and our uh, Lines and Dales. Uh, and if you're a real fan or just have a love for live dot filling, you can watch our session zero on YouTube on demand. Uh, you can find out more about that later. Um, picking up where we left off last time. At the end of last session, um, Enfys was still at the Milliner compound on the Cape, uh, being ministered to by uh, Kathy's Hikata relatives to try and see if they can liberate her from the entity that jumped inside her at the end of session one. Um, both, uh, both Alexis and Natalie were doing research on the, uh, interesting iconography that's been appearing in graffiti tags around this part of the city and had managed to unravel, uh, some of their meaning and possibly someone who might be connected to it. This was also with Kathy's help. Kathy, uh, had come back from a feeding adventure um, and discovered that something about her was stronger and something about her had lessened over the past uh, night's slumber. And then 
just as we were wrapping up, there was a guest at the door, uh, Duncan Gallagher, who is the Anarch Baron of Somerville, who has decided to pay the study group a visit. Uh, who answers the door? It was Natalie. Yeah. In her messy right. bun and yep. I want to believe t-shirt. Yep. Yeah, and you were peering through you're peeping peering through the the, the peer of the, 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 the peephole. Um you can see him standing there. Uh the sky is dark. You guys have slept through the night. You guys you guys have all did your rouse checks at the end of the last session. Uh also if you're down any uh superficial willpower, if you're down any willpower, fill back up because you've um probably had you're probably not less than three, so you're probably up to full. Okay. Um He's at the door. What do you do? So I call back over my shoulder. It's the boss. Who's boss? And I open the door. (laughs) Hi. Ah. Good evening, Miss Crane. Um, May I come in? Yes, Baron Gallagher. You can welcome me in my house. Thank you. And I get out of the way. He he walks in, uh, finds his way to the sitting room or the living room, wherever you guys like have guests or wherever people sit down when you're like not you know pouring over your books. Um, he um, sits, looks around, and counts. One of you is missing. Oh um, yeah, uh, Enfis is uh, dealing with a personal problem at the moment um but we expect uh we, we expect to see him back within the night mm-hmm. yeah they're only a few minutes out well i um i have you are the first stop on my rounds tonight um i can always fill i can ask i can trust you'll fill them in later yes sure there is a very good chance they'll show up while you are here Good. I can, uh, I can, I can wait a little while. Um, the two things I wanted to talk to you guys about tonight. Um, the first was, I would like to say that you are, as tenants in this domain, um, welcome to feed safely wherever you can. There are individual places that are held by particular vampires, but there are many that are free. But I do hope that you will be quiet about it, given the opportunity. Word has come to me that you guys were loud last night, and I would like to impress that upon was me. you. That was me. Yeah, there was a um, disturbance in our area. We were trying to figure out exactly what was going on with it. Uh, It led to uh, an expenditure of resources. And yeah, that was me. I'm usually better about it. Won't happen again. I'll be staying away from that particular bar. Um, I do have a question for you. You got your people in Cambridge? My people? Yeah, your people. Not like yeah. your specific people, but like your like anarch people. There are some anarch Tremere, but for the most part, we let the... Forgive me. Uh, what's the word that isn't warlock for your kind? Right. Spooky, the ma- we, 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 um, we, we, let, we let the spooky... Guy, handle. Um, yeah. We let the spooky handle the spooky in that town. Um, is there something in particular you'd like? Well, considering somebody decided to potentially cause a diplomatic incident and then ran off to Cambridge, uh, yeah. Might be, uh, might need to pay a little bit more attention to what's going on there. Um, there was actually I mean, a uh, messenger coming from uh, the Camarilla Prince, uh, Iverson, specifically looking for us. 
and somebody decided to attack that messenger and then run off, fuck off to Cambridge. Very burgle, much run. Yeah. So that part of the been... yeah part of the reason I needed to uh, grab a bite was specifically because I was trying to help you all avoid a diplomatic incident. Good, good. That diplomatic incident may I may have more. I may know more about that, and I will tell you more. But thank you for, thank you for your future care. I hope that, yeah. The second thing. I think I hear the door opening. And is that you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm back. Come on in. Come on All in. All right. Um, the boss came to uh, pay us a visit. Oh. Duncan, good to see you. Hello, Empress. My apologies for my lateness. Uh, had something I wanted to make sure I wrapped up before uh, we continued doing any of our work. Of course. I trust you're in better spirits yes uh but um ting <sighs> better than i was oh. for sure better than i was uh which is thanks to our fine friends here everybody's been very supportive with each other and anything that we've needed uh, oh, i assume that we've been a joke <laughs> oh no that's a different kind of joke um i assume that we've all been kind of updating you on the things with the murder and the not yet. Starting, Not you were starting to, or at the least, Kathy was starting to. The sense that this is related to something diplomatic was something we picked up at the time. There was, there was a vibe about it, and it was the kickoff to something much bigger. I am still, we are still in the process of trying to figure out what the bigger is, but you may have better ideas than us. You're certainly more well-informed. Yeah. Uh, the victim in question was uh, returned to their um, handler, as it were. I could use the old school term, but y you get the idea. I do. I do. <sighs> All right. So here is what I know. <sighs> I got a message from an emissary of Prince Iverson's. Um, are you familiar with how much, well, Enfys, your sire is still a member of the Boston Camarilla, yeah? Yep, he sure is. Well, before there was a Boston Camarilla, or at least a group calling itself by that name, they used to go by the handle the Kindred of Liberty. Uh, they were a uh, insurgent group trying to um, lift the heavy hand of Prince Quentin King, uh, who reigned in Boston for decades. Um, they now are in charge of the Camarilla across the river, and uh, they certainly run things better than he did, but in any case... Iverson has reached out to me and to my counterpart in Revere, and I'm led to understand that perhaps Andreas, somebody high up on um, your side of the fence, Kathy. Mm. They're calling for a meeting um, in regard to something that I'm not quite up to speed on, which is why I've come to you, my study group. Um, yeah, a lot of people seem to be looking for uh, our time, including Prince Iverson. Well, Apparently there was some tokens she wanted us to look into, but they were along with the message that got sent along and that got stolen. So after, after the messenger got attacked, yeah. Yeah. Um, 
that's the thing about being uh, known for being good at things. People start seeking you out. Yeah, I also have a, a, a invitation for all of us to come out to uh, the family compound, probably to talk about this. Well, when things start happening, they happen a lot. They do. Notice. So, what can we do? Well, seems like you've got a pretty tall plate. I need you. To, I was going to ask for you to see if you would go an undercover mission to try and investigate this um, unusual provision service. Um, some of you might have heard of something called the circulatory system. Yeah. There's a competitor spring here. Uh huh. Interesting. We are looking into it, but I was interested to see if one of you might be interested in going undercover and trying to make a buy, um, find out what they get and where from. Well, considering I'm already tapped into the circulatory system, it probably shouldn't be me. Well, do the, does everybody know that? They probably suspect, considering, well, uh, I have specific needs. What sort of skill set or assets are you looking for in terms of the undercover work? Personable, um, inquisitive, um, can put forward a good story. That's a three for three, but I'm for at least two, possibly more of us, um, especially if we have help with each other. We also may be able to, on the previous topic, we don't know much more about it yet, but there's a chance we could in the way that we, and they say this, um, gesturing to Nat and then to literally everybody in the group, do find out more. Mostly, I just want to make sure that you aren't caught unawares. I'm certain you're very well prepared, but given this kicked off with a murder, like most Shakespearean thing do. Uh, no, Silas is alive. Oh, right. Well, an attempted murder. And only about half of Shakespeare's plays start out with a murder. That's that's it's fair. A little more than half end with them. I mean, it's, comedies, it's, tragedies, it's, histories. It's if you want to go with the body count. Never mind. Okay, never mind. Never mind. But I have no idea what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should read more. Is there more? I don't know that this is necessarily the way you do the thing, but uh, is there? more intel or a dossier kind of to like is there is there more info we should look at before considering there, putting together a... there is and this is not your this is not your highest priority i'll get you a message i'll get you a i'll get you the information we've got um there are some people who i would people who we've seen making deals but it's been obscured so we're hoping you can find out more about who's behind it and uh whether they are uh, a threat or an asset? Do they have a calling card? Not so far. They are at this point working mainly through word of mouth. No, uh, no symbology. No icons. Nothing I could, nothing I could pass down just yet. May I ask a quick storyteller question? Oh yeah. What do we know of Duncan? Just um, in brief. Sure. Uh, Duncan, uh, Gangrel, um, former, um, you know, he carries himself in that kind of, he, he's, he is a more soft-spoken, um, uh, possibly ex-military, hard to tell. Uh, he, uh, handles Somerville, was more connected with the Winter Hill Gang days. He is more, uh, tied to the Irish mob, uh, than, um, the other, you know, basically, he, he dates back to the 60s when Somerville was a much more organized crime run town. Uh, and had there was much more of an impact, you know, the Whitey Bolter time, the Whitey Bolter days. 
Um, he tends to be soft-spoken. He has an Irish accent that I'm not going to try to inflict on you. Um, he's um, fairly soft-spoken, um, serious, but not completely humorless. Uh, and he has a uh, simmering antipathy with his counterpart in uh, Revere. Okay. I was going to ask, and, and it sounds like this gives me a hint on it, um, sure. how he handled friendliness as opposed to being generally perfunctory or all business. And it sounds like relatively well. He doesn't, he doesn't look amiss at it. I'm sorry, say again? He doesn't, he doesn't look askance at friendliness, provided oh, the person no. is actually no, no. doing. No, no, he's, okay. he's, he's, he, he's, he's not, you know, he doesn't glad hand. He's, he's, a, he's a bit more, he, but he's definitely like, he's not a, you know, he, he doesn't, he doesn't feel like it's uh, wrong to uh, to to treat your 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 baron as an equal. It's or at least as a as a as a as a peer, at least a little bit. You know, he's you know when 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 uh, Natalie called him the boss, he was he kind of like he kind of winced a little bit, but you know took it in stride. Okay, so calling him Duncan was not necessarily a bad call. Nope, uh, okay. he called you Enfys. That's fair. Good to know. So that is something that I'd like to see you do. Um, you've also got uh, the the assailant by the compass rose. You've got the uh, the tokens, whatever um, Prince Iverson had you on. Anything else I need to know about? I have some additional information on someone hanging around the compass rose situation but i don't know that it isn't anything i don't know its provenance and i don't know how relevant it is but i'm happy to tell you do you know anything about the odd graffiti happening the what there's also that oh yep kathy pulls out her phone and shows it off yep i mean i know he looks at it kind of like a cat looking at a television screen <laughs> that's great I mean I know you I've, and your I've... people tend to do stuff like this just to you know kind of mark their territory you know kind of like a, a cat rubbing their cheeks against something but like right. I don't know if this is a this mark you know this doesn't look like cacophony script not to me um I do you think it's something uh yes I absolutely do <laughs> we've been um, we've been working on the provenance of the graffiti and the uh, I'm gonna pull it apart graphically speaking um, but we've we've isolated some signs and sigils within the graffiti that definitely point to a deeper mystery and you know how much we love those so yes I do we'll be uh, we'll be tearing into that sometime soon I look forward to the report. <laughs> All right. Dressing down delivered, message delivered. Anything you need from me before I go on my, the rest of my rounds? Unless you want to hear an odd story about a ghost which may or may not have any bearing on this. Not for me, at least. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be a fun story. I mean, I like a ghost story. Well, sadly, I don't get to start with long ago and far away or anything nearly as fun as all that. But uh, so no there shit, was... there I was. <laughs> yes, that's a no, better no one. Shit, there I was. Well, although, although that almost is more accurate in this case because this happened at the Compass Rose attack. There was some sort of presence that was hovering over the body, and it was having. This may just be because it was drawn to this. Again, I don't know if its life history has anything to do with this, but I thought I'd let you know since you know more the history of this area than we do. It, um, it was pretty unhappy, as is, you know, as are many spirits apparently when there's been a murder. As I understand, yeah. I only, I missed part of that. My apologies, Duncan. No, go ahead. Uh, just saying that ghosts tend to be unhappy. You don't get a, you get a uh, lot of happy ones. Yeah, no, otherwise they probably wouldn't be hanging out much of the time. Um, 
I saw a little bit about them because I was basically trying to figure out why they cared about this particular thing, why they were there, and this may just, again, have been them, but uh, they apparently had some sort of argument or fight with um, someone uh, that they used to care a lot about. And the interesting thing about it to me, and maybe I'm seeing patterns where there aren't any, is that in their memory, someone fell to the floor and then a gun went off, which is usually not the order in which that happens. I'm going to see if I can find out more. I may be able to compile some notes from prior work I was doing. That's part of what my investigation was that I was just coming in from. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was interesting. And uh, if you know of any like weird prior incidents that bear that pattern, uh, I wanted to at least let you know. Well... I expected at least a chain or a hook on a door, but that'll do. Um, thank you. If the chain ever becomes available, I'll let you know. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, That's what they said. Sorry, Duncan. <laughs> nope. It's all right. It's all right. Um, not the weirdest thing I will probably hear tonight. But... Hey, it got you to smile, so that's a better part of your evening, so. Uh, he opens his mouth wide, and you can see um, uh, a heavy set of um, double incisors, almost like, you know, um, you know, animal fangs. He goes, people usually don't ask me to smile much, but, you know, I appreciate it. That's a shame, but fair. I'll send you a don't tell me to smile shirt. Got it. Oh, that's, that's a good call. Nobody ought to be told to smile. Um, pause. Are people hearing a, a pulsing sound? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I am not, but... Oh, now I am. Weird. I assumed it was in somebody's background. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're not, like, cycling through something. It is not me. Okay, cool. I don't believe it's here. At the very least, it's not like, you know, <laughs> the ghostly radio uh, from session two. No, uh, we are dropping frames, though, and I'm trying to see if there's anything mm -hmm. that I can do to fix that, but... Okay. Try turning things off and see if it... It shouldn't have... It, it, it's entirely only my computer that would do it, not yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. In that and case, some tech support in chat as well. Yeah, well, that's uh... mm -hmm. okay. Uh, given that, um, Duncan um, bids his leave or takes his leave and bids farewell. Uh, the door slams with a heavy thud, leaving the four of you to decide what to do this evening. What's first? Well, shit. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you know, I, I forgot that the, uh, I, for, I forgot the, the, I don't know why I forgot, probably, uh, never mind. Um, the, the Tremere are in Cambridge. It's okay. Yeah. You were, no. you wrapped up with other stuff. I was assuming uh, that's I mean, why. I'm going to check in with them to see you know what? what the oh, fuck. We could go visit, we could go, we could go visit Henry. Is that better? This might not be a bad plan. Yeah. Especially if they took the something office. from us. Yeah. Uh, I definitely want to make sure that that takes precedence because that's a little bit more time sensitive. And I and I love my sire, but he can wait. Um, let me just put um, something on to run in the background while we're out. Okay. And. Um, is there any amount of sussing out the narrative that you would like Matt or I to do before we go, or is that something we think we should do once we have a little more info? You know, that, that thing where you look at it kind of like a TV show and try to figure out what makes the most sense to happen next. At least that is probably how Enfys has explained it to some folks. I usually stay like it with my brain. Well, that's, that's also the case. But, uh, 
yeah. I don't want to assume that we need to jump into that now, but hints are hints, so it could be okay. something to bring up in conversation if we figure something out before. It could be something that helps us put the pieces together after we come back. Either works. Both work. We can both do it. There you go. So, Jason, um, Natalie goes over to her computer okay. and her, um, her graphics program, and okay. she goes... Um, she loads in a bunch of the graffiti images, mm -hmm. and she's going to attempt to do the NCIS thing where she pulls them apart layer by layer mm -hmm. to uncover the deep mystery. Because uh, you said that there were some, there were there were definitely some hand drawn images uh, mixed in with spray paint. Mm -hmm. We could see something that looks like the Hakata clan symbol. Mm -hmm. There might be other clan symbols. And then that artist, other, right? And then yep. And then the artist tag. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I'm going to basically uh, oh. zoom in and enhance, and just sort okay. of try and, and put my put my graphics program to pulling apart the layers. Oh on. yeah, uh, one of my buddies is gonna send uh, Halo over at some point. Yes, right? mm -hmm. yes, they, yes, they were. Hey, Nat, can I get a look at that? You sure can. Thank you. And she just. Okay. Well, let's see. Um, sure. Is that something you'd like me to roll for? Um, it is. Uh, first question: um, Is this a cover for your, for a discipline, or is this just using no, raw computer skills? This skin? is actually my technology skill. Absolutely. Uh, question: uh, What's your current hunger score? Three. Three. Oh God. Three. All right. Oh, God. Yay! Yay! And it's we have, guaranteed we, to we be have, messy. Yeah, oh no. So we so we, have, we, we have do have our, a couple messy games. Uh, someone has decided to make it messy. Um, Anna, who decided to make it messy? So we actually have two. Oh, no. We have um, Rath oh, yeah. Rathmore oh, TV yeah. and yeah. Miss Mad Duck both redeemed okay. Make It Messy and okay. requested that it would be uh, whatever is the fun, funnest. Okay, fair enough. All right. So uh, our redeem for Make It Messy is that um, in Vampire, in Vampire Fifth Edition, uh, we have uh, hunger dice, and when you uh, get uh, a success or rather a ten on your hunger dice, uh, and you get to pair it, uh, it becomes a messy critical. That becomes four successes, and uh, it means that you succeed, but you, but your beast takes this moment to to seize the day at least a little bit. So um, we're gonna have you roll your intelligence and technology, but. Uh, you're, we're, you're gonna, we're gonna set two of those hunger dice as tens. So only yeah. roll one hunger die, and then whatever else your pool is gonna be. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's a total of five. So we got the, it's the, we got the two from. The make it messy and one extra uh, success. Does that seem right? That seems good right. to me. All right, uh, five successes. Um, do you want to re-roll? I mean, the one you, you can't re-roll the hunger the the other one, but cool. All oh, right, okay. so five is is great. Five successes. Okay, so uh, you um, you start your program work. Your fingers are flying over the keyboard. Um, you start running these. You start running your your um, in you know in several different windows. You've got um, uh, research works and um, uh, and now you know sort of you know um, you know machine learning analysis to try and break things down. Um, you've got um, a number of different um things at work so and while you do it you start feeling confident you you have this sensation that there's really nothing you can't accomplish if you set your mind to it oh 
Proud you can't. It's the yes. You are really good at this. You probably should have more respect and authority for the things you bring to this team and to this city. You really feel like somebody should pay you respect, homage. Someone should let you know exactly how much you're appreciated. You feel the need to uh, get someone to do as you say. That's interesting timing, because Enfys was actually about to, since they also have some technology background, make the comment, mm -hmm. Hey, that's really cool. How awesome am I? You are awesome. I'm the best. I have You're no idea best. what you just did, but it looks cool. You totally see aside that thing. I did. I did. You are figuring out some shit. I am. This is, this is very, this is very, I mean, this is very advanced programming. Like, this is... I'm told that it's not supposed to work like this. That's just how good TV. she is. I mean... But it looks like it works on TV. What the hell? Well, I mean, the TV has to have some sort of basis in reality, and we're liars. <laughs> that gives me a really good idea. Matt, do you mind if I use your excellent work to help springboard into possibly even more information we could find out? You know what? You do that, thank you. Thank you. You do that thing right. You, I mean, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yes, am And I go, and I'm going to try to use premonition at it. Okay. Before we do that, I want to actually yes. actually give you the five successes you got. What would you like to know? <laughs> I mean, like, you, like, 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 let's actually get the successes and, like, find <laughs> out, you know? No, 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 no. It, it, it's, not, it's not just the messy. It's also the critical. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, 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 man. We just want the drama. We are here, in fact. We are, in fact, here for the drama. I'm ready to take notes. Is that why we're here? Uh, so basically, let's start with the one. Um, I'm going to start with the the image that had the Hakata symbol yep. um, embedded in it. Yep. Um, are there any other symbols that we can make out in the in the um, in the different layers of the image? You know, there is one that was kind of hidden. It was subtle because it was woven into the background, um, but it was also, um, you know, it looked simply like a decorative border. But if you look at it closely, there is uh, the symbol of the dragon eating its tail. Ooh, it is a clan lovely. that does not appear very often in the United in, in these parts. <gasps> um, not since the. Uh, no, not oh. not since the days of the not since the days of you know you know before the uh, turn of the millennium. But, which uh, which clan is that? The Mies. The Mies. Oh, the Mies. The Mies. Shamase. We the little fuckers. Yeah. There are literally like six different ways to pronounce it, and you'll hear seven of them a week. Simichi. Los Chimiskis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I pull that up. Yep. So yeah, uh, you you so you you refine and enhance, and you can see the tail, the Aruboro oh, serpent, wrapped no. around. Why are they involved? Okay. Are okay. they even we don't, here? We, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. We don't know yet. It could just be. Here are the clans in your neighborhood. I mean, it could no, just. Do be. we have any of them in our neighborhood? That's what I was about to ask. Because I, I didn't know. think so. And none of uh, none of none. Of, as far as I know, none have made themselves known to your baron. As far as you know, you've been you've been at least at one of the censuses, so you've seen like everybody who claims to be an anarch in Somerville has shown up to this thing at least once, and nobody said hello. I'm a dragon. <laughs> the ones who tend to be out of the sabbat, I think they've been leaning more towards the authoritarian end of the spectrum. I've never met one. I haven't either, but that's just what I've been told. I also told they're creepy fuckers. Like I was gonna say, don't do creepier these, like, than creepy me. Things. Yeah, that's mostly what I know. 
I mean, very Gary Oldman. That was hot, but not. Mm. Uh, it's in and it's in that creepy hot vibe. I get it's it. That creepy hot thing. I mean, but all my creepy I know old that all country my are where they're supposed to be. So I don't think I've ever encountered one. Creepy old country sort of way. Yeah. Does anyone vibe as like secret <laughs> dragon? Um, secret dragon. Secret <laughs> agent. Secret, secret dragon. dragon. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone, okay, sorry, so, someone left. So, I mean, there, I mean there's, I mean, so in the border, there's that symbol, but then this was also, I mean, this was also the, the image where the Hasada symbol prominently featured. But apparently an older version of it? That's true. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you look, that's not the one they use right now. It's sort of like that, that three- Kath, Kathy, when did you all use that version? How old is it? I'm not a Zumisi. No, not that one. The Hakata symbol. No, the, 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 the Hakata one right there. And she points to it on the screen. Right? Um, that's a fairly recent development as far as that specific one being used for all the clans of death. Was it used for just one of the clans before? Fuck if I know. Okay. <sighs> All right, you've got a couple of more questions um, left that you could probably ask. Uh, you've used mm. a couple successes on that one. Is the art style... Now, we, we know it's been tagged by Halo. We know it's been owned mm -hmm. this time. Yep. What else does he do? <clears throat> That's more of a streetwise check. We did that okay. last uh, time. We I'm, found his yeah, like Instagram yeah, and, and images. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Not this. He doesn't usually do yeah. this. Yeah, he does not usually do this. This is um it is unusual to see his tag on something like this. Okay. Um most of what he does is uh street art, although it does occasionally have um an esoteric uh element to it. Uh, occasionally, there, there is there is an ongoing thread in your message board uh, on your on your on the connector site, you know, uh, for Halo sightings. Nice. Does um does he do, does he do commissions? Like, does his Instagram have a commission me to do your stuff? Uh, I'm wondering if someone commissioned him know, to do this. You know, probably, probably that seems like it'd be an interest. That'd be a useful thing for him to have, right? Okay. Is there um, anything else I can grab from? The, the the shot um, any other occult symbols um any other is there anything that is what i would consider a clan secret uh, also uh, uh are you able to tell if um halo's tag is on this image or his tag is on something and this was drawn over it or vice versa like Ooh, that is, is a it... great question you can answer that one um based on your on basically your your analysis and being able to pull the thing about uh this was tagged by halo this was tagged by halo after it was complete there is there has been mm. there is an, there are elements that are that are um in here that were not in the initial spray so there's a couple of different Ooh. this this is not this was not done all at once oh. okay <clears throat> and is there anything else I can pull out of the symbol? Anything? Um... Nope. You've you've pretty much gotten the things okay. that you have asked for. Uh, and so yes, until you get someone to uh, to to submit to you, you are in your your beast is craving dominance. Cool. Yep. Hot. Hot. Mm -hmm. So mine was not good enough. But that's fair. Oh, I know. Uh, <laughs> you, you are. You are. I you was are... very willing. You, you're, 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 it, it, anyway. Yeah, yeah. You are, you are, you are, it's the, you guys, um. Don't worry, I can, yeah. I can get so much more messy than that. Yeah. Oh, okay. boy. All right. So, uh, now, uh, Enthus, you wanted to, uh, see what your, um, internal engine can, uh, produce, yeah? And, and we do have that second make it messy. It's true. Well, but what, it, but yeah. it is, I, what is, um, thing is, I don't think that Enthus is higher than Hunger 1 right now. I'm not. 
Yep. Mm, in order to use, in order to make it messy, you must have at least two hunger dice. Okay. I'm not hungry enough. Sad. I thought Photoshop made you hungry. <laughs> I'm not using Photoshop. That's the part. Oh that's the well, program. that's your problem right there. Yeah. Clearly, I need to sit down at the computer and become hungrier. Okay. So. <laughs> sit down. Get hunger. Sit down. Get hunger. Wow. That's a thing. So yeah, I'm going to look at the information, the image we have, uh, the new data that we have, which is that Halo tagged it after it was done, mm -hmm. that there is a symbol of dragon in the border, that we're seeing the image of the Hakata, possibly a fairly new one, yep. uh, and possibly some of the other stuff going on and just sort of have the internal core board with string in my head and say, what is this pulling on? What narrative thread is here? Sure, time to permanish. Uh, first, uh, yes. give me a rouse check. Remind me of what dice you use for that for our Absolutely. audience. Absolutely, you use you use a die, uh, 50 50. It's, it's you just roll a single just ordinary a regular die. Yep. Whole die. Yep. Roll. I you, I got a success. You do not get hungry. Hooray! Hooray for that. Okay, so uh, now we're going to go with resolve plus auspex. I love that roll so much. Um, and one of those should be hunger. One of those should be hunger. That is one, two, three, four successes. Four successes. Okay. Uh, for the for the bunch. Um, you you let your eyes unfocus and you uh, stare at the symbol. As it, um, as it's been broken apart um, by um, Natalie's computer program, and you get the sensation of someone or something being pulled apart. Um, you have the image of someone being laid out on uh, on a rack. Not a rack, uh, but a frame. Um, uh, spread eagle arms and legs at the sides. Um, right. You can see um, uh, this person has been opened up in certain spots. You can see blood welling to the surface. Um, you can uh, see... Um, serpents um black um with teeth of pearl climbing on the body and sinking their fangs in crawling um all over uh the body um pulling forth um pulling forth blood uh you can you 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 the the, the the sound in the background becomes uh, high pitched, um, almost like tinnitus, and um, you can hear um, the sound of a heartbeat, um, knocking heavy but slowing. Um, you can smell. Um, uh, a kind of uh, floral scent, something um, uh, heavy and um, pungent in your nostrils. Not overly sweet, but sort of like spicy. Um, you have this feeling that there is something um, that has been held together for a long time, but is breaking in, breaking into pieces, and there is an effort to keep it together. Um, and then, as you your your vision pulls back and you start to see the the screen again, um, you can see. Um, Phosphor letters like, um, like old computer type 
like the green screen burn in <laughs> starts to pull in on this clearly much more modern laptop um and the message is take the train okay so, i'm gonna try to relay that but you will get all of that but i'm gonna give you at least some of the rp around the sure sure so uh your your premonition insights are um uh you know the uh something is um something that has been held together is being pulled apart uh there is um something black and serpentine there is um the heavy scent of flowers and take the train those are like the messages and the other stuff is detail that elaborates. Hail Hydrate. Thank you. They say with their heads sort of weirdly close to Natalie. Um, I don't think I would have gotten that level of detail without that image. Pearl. Pearl. Pearl Fang is why train the why take the train we walked we walked last time on something the is gonna happen on the train or the train itself is a pattern well it's early enough in the evening we actually can take the train out to cambridge if we want to take a look it's true yeah did i i assume there was no face to the body it was just there's no one specific right right it was right. it was it was yep. you were if you're you're it was you could you could not see it. your your vision did not encompass their head it was very much right. the so something's been trying to keep that together and now it's getting pulled apart and the black serpents with the teeth of pearl are draining blood blood is raising rising up in i mean that would happen if you pull the body apart but blood is rising up in the places in which things are getting separated and it is feeding from that is that the thing that the Baron was talking about coming due to be a part. Coming Some, due to something be a part. is is going to end, right? Wasn't that what he was well, talking there's about? There's a meeting. I mean, there's a meeting. There's a meeting coming up. Okay. We don't know much about it though. Yeah. Okay. Not from what he sounds said. like sounds like it's specifically the leadership of the various factions who are here in the Boston Metro. Mm -hmm. Y'all's people, my people, the Camarilla. And I would not be surprised if there's some sort of common enemy involved. Great. But that is me just, you know, grasping at straws. I I don't do the smart shit. I I do the. I do the you know, smack people in the face shit. Do we have much of a ministry presence in town? I mean, ministry are, are anarch folks, aren't they? They are. Uh, the enemies. ministry is present, although um, they don't have an established temple that you're aware of. Uh, these are very much the, uh, the 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 new, more modern ministry. They um, <laughs> they, kind they, of they, gentler they, cult. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know the the one you know these Shenanigan. are the people, you know, it's the they were you know you know when when um they tried to uh join the camera and were rebuffed and then theo bell and and company um struck out with you know struck out on their own um the Senites were well my apologies the ministry were all too eager to lend both political financial and occult support to a resurgent anarch sect and so the ministers are um, I mean, they're, they're they're not hard to find. They just don't gather in one place. There is no den of vipers. Are you thinking of the that snake imagery? Or are you thinking... Yeah. I'm wondering if the snake imagery actually has more to do with the, the dragons. And Maybe. The drakes, which are I'm going to think about it for just a second. And out of character, I will be right back. I do apologize. But let me think on that. All right. All right. Aren't most prophecies written to be really super vague so that you could attribute anything to them anyway? Uh -huh. Yes. Usually, yeah. Uh, what do I know? I mean, that much. That's how you avoid, um, you know, the, the horoscope section of the newspaper. But, hmm. Look, you shut up. I am the best Leo ever. I suppose. 
I don't know anything about it. Um, take the train. I mean, it makes sense. Wh is, while uh, while high on cocaine, right? That's the quote. No, I think that's the quote. It's a song. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, if that's what we want to do, it's I not. Get a song. Yeah, I'm it's okay. not. It's really, really I mean, not. Sometimes, but I mean, sometimes I I thought about it a couple of times, but. I hear it just makes your brain go fast, and my brain already goes really fast. I don't think it works for us anyway. If it's in the blood, it sure does. I mean, <clears throat> I can't do that. Why not? Why not? Because I can't. <sighs> anyway. All right. Where? Um, you guys have taken. I'd say that this this sort of study group moment has taken about an hour to like okay. really break down. So it's about mm -hmm. eight o'clock. What you gonna do? Oh, well, let's probably Cambridge. take the train. I yeah, think, take yeah. The train. Take I mean, train to Cambridge. Hold on, let um, me put my face on. I look like a I look like a Walking Dead. Um, Natalie, you mentioned yeah. visiting your sire, mm -hmm. um, because I think. Uh, we don't have any further info on, on, on that dude, right? He made a doorway out of chalk he, or something and vanished. Oh, no, 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 no. He he, he raced... Um, so he... He disappeared through the wall. Right, and there's ch and there was chalk, though. It, so. there, there is chalk, but we there was no... There was no extant door. We didn't see a door. No, I'm assuming he drew a wall, like, did some magic trick and went through the door he drew, and then it, you know... Dusted I mean, on the that's ground. not really something we can do. I mean, I, look, I'm, I'm, I, I'm as eager to investigate it as anybody is. But God, that could, it, damn it! Can, it. can you walk? Whoa, whoa. Can you walk through walls in general? Normally, is that a thing you can do? Does anybody have a good red lipstick? My, my, my go-to doesn't work anymore. I do. Oh, Kathy, I'm sorry. Um, I got a few. You can try mine, but it's more of a, like, just sort of dark pink. I don't usually do uh, a lot of lipstick. This one? Okay. Yeah. Try it. See if you like it. Sorry, I don't uh, own any. Yeah, mine are more like cherries and wines and a little plummy. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Oh, there oh, you go. It does look good on you. Yeah, that's much better. Oh, thank You're you, so darlings. Nice. I mean, I try to avoid the reds because, you know, really stereotypical, like, vampire. But, you hey. know, if it works, go with it. Sometimes you just gotta go with the classic. It's timeless. Am I, like, the only one who just doesn't bother? I am, aren't I? That's okay. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, you do you. Yeah. I do do me. I just yeah. got used to Alexis's, it. Alexis's Alexis's skin, I mean, even when she hasn't roused the blood, she has a certain oh, that's much better. to her to her face that, that that the rest of you don't have. I mean, you could also, you know, like put a little bit of eyeshadow up there just to complement your thirdly. <laughs> no thanks. That you. would yes! make it stand out though. Hey, I mean, that's never the not, goal. Not, not that that's bad. If you're not, oh, no, if you're, it if is. you're not in mixed company, hold on. I, I'm more mean if you're in the right like place with the right people. Just boop, 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 boop. no thanks, no thanks. Okay, not okay. things I don't want to pop. That okay, okay. I mean, I'd be proud of it if I had it. I am. Oh, but it oh, tends to better. make other people oh. very, very, very mad. It would also yeah, get a little bit a little smeary less under the thing, probably. <laughs> you'd need you'd need like a really hard setting one if you were doing that. Uh huh. So let's go to Cambridge. Yeah. Yes. Hold let's on. let's oh, do that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Makeup. Oh, person. good. The bags under my eyes are no longer designer. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> if any of y'all need glitters, you know I'm your non-binary pal. Ah, oh, yes, the herpes of the craft world. Hey, in embedded makeups, they don't tend to spread that much. She said it, not me. <laughs> if that were more of a problem, there would be... Never mind. No, like that's not, not a thing for 
keeper of company. That's me <laughs> thought. That's an inside thought. <laughs> oh my. All right, I, oh. I I look at least a little more human. We can go now. I'm sure you do. <laughs> you look good. And we're walking, and we're walking. We're, we're, walking. we're walking. Absolutely. All right. Um, where are you going? On the train. Somewhere. Absolutely you are. But where? And to, we're and taking to the red line from Davis to, like, Harvard Square. Okay. Right? We're going to Cambridge, to the pit. Where else sure. would we go? Oh, the pit. That's a good idea. The that's, New York native that, has no idea. That's, no. okay. Um, Amphis, we, we, right, you weren't here. We followed, um... Natalie's uh, tracking thing to, oh. uh, but the train was no longer running, so we walked on the tracks uh, to Harvard Square and mm -hmm. to the pit area, and then we followed the guy, and then his track ended at a wall. And that's why we were saying he went through the wall, and there was like chalk dust a little bit there, and uh, uh. he vanished, and his track <laughs> uh, stopped. So uh, I think, um, Natalie, your thought was that he either magically cut that or traversed planes or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I mean, chalk is used for boundaries a lot, so wouldn't be surprised if there was a little bit of well, chalk there. Well, that's why I was thinking of, you know, like, there's books, right, where people draw the door and man, and it becomes oh. a door and they walk through, right? So, like, and cartoons. cartoons. Yeah, usually on my end, if they do something like that, it's usually like ash or grave dirt. Well, mm. everybody has their own symbology, right? Some people... Oh, yeah. Yeah you know, knife cut into a sod or whatever, right? Like, you know. So are we trying to figure out where it went past that? Well, we gotta, fi we gotta find that person, right? And yeah. we don't know where they are, so that's why we were thinking of going to see um, Natalie's sire, who is, you know, in, in Cambridge somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, probably in his office right now. Yeah. How do you get on with your sire? Well, that's easier. Hur hooray for no daddy issues. I don't have any daddy issues. Mm. Other people had daddy issues <sighs> with me, but I was not the daddy. That's fine. <laughs> you... Do not tempt me. Do you want I mean... Enfys to have daddy issues? Is that like a goal of yours? I think that was me being daddy. Oh, God. No. I can be daddy. I mean, you can be whatever you want to be. Be all you can be in the no. vampires now. Save it yeah. for only things. Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Fine. You get along with your sire. That was the question. Okay. Yeah, I do. Cool. Cool. Okay. So we're riding um, the tea? We're riding the tea. We're riding, riding the, the tea. You're riding the tea. Fair enough. Um... It's still pretty early. There are lots of people. Um, God, I hate people. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it happens. Um, you guys are walking together. Um, are any of you using Blush of Life, or are you just kind of... Uh... Yeah. For sure. That's what makeup is for. Yep, that is what makeup is for. I have a hoodie. Yeah, okay. Hold on, I got some... Cool. Shit, I need blush now, don't I? God damn it. That I don't have much of, as much of. <laughs> blush of life and blush of Sephora. Got it. I, <laughs> I, I heard you can just take some lipstick and, you know, make circles with it, but maybe not. Yeah, yeah, it, has to be the right kind of, like it does have to be the right kind of I was lipstick. about to say, like, what the hell kind of, like, 18th century bullshit is this? They used blood. Do I need to roll for that, Jason? You do. I need a rouse check. Okay. One of these days, that's gonna screw you. Yes. Right now. I don't know. One of those days is now. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. That's fine. That's fine. What's that? It, looks, it looks Everything like you, is fine. It looks like you. It looks like you. You did not get a success. So you do get hungrier, but you you suffuse your 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 undead flesh with blood, and you look human, ish. <laughs> I look pretty human. I'm you pretty do. humane. People are people are people don't notice. Uh, people pass you look you look as human as anybody else you might see. I stand on the outside of the cluster. Yep. Uh, 
Kathy looks, Kathy, you know, Kathy, people give Kathy a little bit of a wider berth. They, they do kind of like, you know, shift aside. They've kind okay, of like, you know. She's a bad bitch. Well, mm-hmm, she, exactly. she's wearing so much makeup, they know she's clearly being made up as goth and is working hard on that pallor. Mm-hmm. There's also the heels that make this, that click sound that sounds like powers in, in echoey spaces. Oh, God. How oh, like, he, like the subway? Like, under, like subway stations. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear your heels clicking on the How sidewalk. tall is Kathy in heels? Oh, Probably about six foot. Oh, God. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, you ride the train past Dave, you know, out of Davis, past Porter. And then there's that bit in Harvard where the train slows down and there's that oh, and it's turning. grinding noise that screech as it takes the curve into Harvard Square. Um, And while you are underground, the lights flicker. There's uh, a a sort of heavy chunk, chunk sound. And there is a uh, flicker in the lights and the conductor comes out and says, we'll be standing by for uh, a few moments to let um, another train pass. It is quiet. People are grumbling, checking their phones. Um, It's the red line. It's (laughs) normal-ish. Swipe, damn you. Hands are kind of cold. It's not registering. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna get you those gloves. Mm-hmm. Warm gloves. Yeah. Mm. There is um. Which one of you has sensed the unseen? Like three uh, of us. <laughs> which one of you is not using your phone and has sensed the unseen? <laughs> Uh, probably. Well, I did kind of put my phone away. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, you glance up at just <clears throat> the right moment, and you catch a figure who wasn't there before. Just out of the corner of your vision, sitting hands folded um uh uh backpack next to him um sunglasses uh hoodie he pulls out a watch pocket watch old style doesn't match his outfit at all looks at it watches it kind of intently then closes it looks around doesn't take more than like a minute the train starts to squeal again and completes its journey taking you to the station Fucking hipsters. Hmm? What's up? I mean, it is Harvard Square. Mm-hmm. I've been told I resemble that remark. Yeah. All right. You're fine. The door's open. I've you never guys... seen you eat avocado toast. You're fine. <laughs> That's true. That's true. The door's open. Uh, he gets up and tries to get lost in the crowd of people as the, everybody sort of floods out through the side doors of the train and head toward the surface. The thing about Harvard Square is that the, the train station is most is, is almost entirely underground. There's not a lot of places for sunlight to penetrate except like near the front uh, during the day. So you're pretty well protected. Um, he moves almost inhumanly smoothly through the crowd. Did, did Kathy look in a particular direction when saying effing hipsters? Yes. Cool. I'm gonna look in that direction at some point in that midst. Yep. Of, in that midst, that's how words work. 
Yeah, yeah. that's totally how words work. Uh, right. Caught her attention, and that's enough for me. So. Yeah. All right. You guys him, are I'm you guys are get a in eyes on him. Okay. Uh, give me a uh, wits and streetwise. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, no, that that's a role that exists for me. Um... Yeah. <laughs> Two hunger dice, by the way. Oh right. Thank now you. you can make it messy, because we oh, do still have. God, that I don't. I, 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 I was told, I was told to wait it. for it. To be, I was told to wait for it to be fun. That's and true. Not quite okay. fun just yet. The, like like you know, be, you know you know you know the, the you know you know perception checks are not real great for making it messy. It's just one of that's those things. Like true. like at that point, it's like what I the best I can do is like you, I, you get hungry. Like you know, your 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 beast says, "All right, I'm gonna." Well, actually, you know, if you I want, have, you have one like... success on a hunger die. That's fine because well, you also have a success fine. on a non-hunger die. That's oh, totally I do. Fine. I thought I only had yeah. one. It didn't show up. Yeah, and, and, yeah. Even, fine. and even if it's successes, those are fine. You just gotta worry about like you know. Yeah, um, when it gets. Yeah. 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 I, I was worried it was somehow ones. messy critical, nope. and that's not how it do. No, because nope, none of them are critical. That is not in fact how it do. It was regular. Okay. It's just two successes. Uh you know, you keep your eye on him for a little bit, and he makes his way in. You'd have to try, like, he's he's really hard to pick out. He's not Tweedy or anything, right? Like, does he look like a writer or a professor? He type? does not. He, okay. he, look, he looks kind of like, you know, a person who is trying not to be noticed. Then I probably don't know him. Um, huh. Well, I try to get the sense of what he looks like so yep. far as I can before he wanders off. Um, Absolutely. Quietly I mean, sitting happy. Is, is that a guy? Mm-hmm. What guy? Okay. Yeah, what guy? Hipster. Oh. Hipster. Why are we clearing? Whatever. Henry's off to take his stuff. Okay, cool. Lead on. Okay. Henry's office is in a uh, second floor walk up above the Globe map shop. Uh, it is... Uh, the, the 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 map shop in Harvard Square. It's one of the they they they, they are one of the like they have the, one of the best reputations as a place to buy old maps. And Henry keeps his office above it. Uh, he is a um, he like you uh, is a consulting researcher. Uh, he specializes in um, uh, uh, antique books. In particular, and you know, uh, restoration of old texts. It's a thing that he kept from his uh, mortal bookbinding days, and he sort of gives. He sort of, you know, rents himself out as a, as an expert, um, both have for we... forensics or for. Uh... I was gonna hmm? say, have we run on into each other in the course of work? He and I specifically, because. Um. Probably. I mean, it's one of those things that things. once you once you started associating with uh, Natalie, uh, you probably had. Uh, some cause to interact however um he's always kind of kept you at a distance for reasons you might be able to guess uh yeah i'm just thinking more less in terms of my interaction with natalie and more in terms of the fact that we basically do the same work right like professionally in terms of uh, research for higher translations that kind of stuff true but he's not really because his area is actually in the physical objects of books okay. themselves he, he's, he's he's more of an he's more of a you know um a what, what is the, the the term um just somebody who like deals with um books as objects as opposed to books as sources of information like Both, a book binder? no i mean that that an too but antiquarian? also antiquarian that but there's a word for it a, a uh, a person at a library who does that restoration librarian that's the word conservation you know, yeah that's okay. it conservation yep okay he's in conservation or at least that is his 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 public facing area of skill but yes uh so uh narrow staircase tiny office you know at least you know um oh um okay i didn't i wasn't expecting company um mm -mm. <clears throat> well uh hello um Hi. and you've brought your friends how how, how delightful um let's let, let's come, come come inside come inside um, we have we have questions and we want we'd ask you oh good uh, good uh are you on assignment or is this a personal call 
You know what? This is more personal. Mm -hmm. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Uh, let me see. Um, Ms. Bloom. Um, hey. Alexis. And, uh, of course, Ms. Miller. Um, I, I bid you welcome and offer you what safety I can afford you in this time and place. Works for me. Um, all right. It's a little uh, old fashioned. I love it. Um, I, I pride myself on keeping to, um, well, the traditional ways, if I can say so. Um, I like to be forthright, but I know we have our uh, our needs. So, uh, what can I do for you? So, um, let me give you the entire um, okay, let me let me give you the entire overview before I before I get to, into specifics. Very well. So, um, a couple of a couple of nights ago, mm -hmm. um, a messenger for um, Ms. Iverson was attacked in our area bearing a message for us. We managed to um, we managed to save the messenger, but not the message. It was being conveyed at great speed towards here, towards in the direction of Cambridge. Mm -hmm. Okay. I um, employed a certain ritual and um, mm. tracked the culprit to a specific area of the underground T and um, found that the person had either died in the spot or had switched planes of existence. One, do you know anything about a uh, um, a rogue in your territory that might be making off with something like this? Or two, do you know what goes through walls? They left chalk dust. And uh, Jason, do we have like a specific location around the pit where we found where he stopped? The wall. Sure. Um, he ended up stopping over um, uh, in a side alleyway near the Raven Bookshop and a Boba Tea place. Okay. I specifically give that information to the guy, including mm -hmm. where we found the chalk dust uh, on, on the wall there. Uh, all right. That's not far from Harvard Yard. Mm -hmm. um, well, I can certainly say that I don't know of any rogues who'd be trying to intercept a message to you, not from from us. I could ask around. I still have some people I can talk to in uh, other houses who might have a better uh, have a different insight into uh, the comings and goings of younger kindred than I do. Uh, I'd be appreciative. Of course. Um, I help you where I can. Uh, as far as what goes through walls, um, I mean, and he turns to you, Kathy, pointedly and says, well, ghosts go through walls traditionally. Uh, a ghost would have no need of any sort of magical conveyance. Ghosts are insubstantial as they are. <clears throat> like, he, uh, uh, they were very much tangible because they took the message right um as far as translating planes of existence um there aren't very many people who can do that any longer uh it was um it was an astral trick the ability to send oneself away from their body but so few people know that any longer um i and I don't know of anyone who could have taken something with them when they did it. This may not be a sorceress matter, or yeah. at least not the kind I do. Yeah. Um, Is there anything else that would stop uh, Natalie's tracking method? Other than oh, plane I mean, shifting and death? 
Sure. Um, if they were familiar with um, warding, they could have set something to break the path. That um, might be the it job. wouldn't be it wouldn't be I mean it wouldn't be fast. You'd need something that um would uh quick uh that would quickly sever the, the, the connection. Something like, you know, uh dunking your entire body in water or something or uh you know a a line a line of salt. Or a line of chalk. I mean, it would have to be like really impressive chalk, like I'm just you thinking. know also, from the hills of Dover or something. Right. When you say not fast, uh, how not fast do you mean? Days, hours? Because it was oh. a couple of hours. We we did. We, he did have a very substantial lead on us. Yeah. With a couple of hours, you could probably do some kind of cleansing. Um, generally speaking, the thing that blocks. Um, the trail of prey is running water. Uh, if you um, if you manage to cross a body of water or something similar that cuts you off from your path, then that'll stop the trail. But a body of water can't be found between a bookshop and a boba tea place. No, and 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 a, hmm. and a rivulet in the gutter doesn't count. Right. <clears throat> And crossing the Charles on the T did not do it for him. No, no, you actually have to cross it on foot. Otherwise, like, you know, boats. Cross water on foot? Oh, meaning in a... Bridges. Like, 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 like over a bridge or, you know, right. you know, you know. Right, not, not know. directly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the, you know. That would be interesting. messy and wet. Not if you know how, I guess. But... I mean, you can just walk on the ground under the water. Not my skill set, yeah. But that's not the same. This is uh, that. This sounded yeah. like over. Yes, that's still. That gets into theology. Anyway, moving on. There are ways to make that non-theological. Yeah, I suppose. The more that they start talking about some of the various elements that could potentially pull this together. Uh, as Brene remembers something that might be relevant, uh, can I go ahead and make an occult roll on this one? <laughs> sure. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, how hungry are you? Yeah, we we really been um, I am, in fact, at hunger, too. All right. Uh, let's start with those uh, two tens and roll the rest. <laughs> okay, so is this uh, intel, wits? Uh, this is intelligence, intelligence plus occult. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, what happened? So oh, no, yeah, no. um, my dice pool for that uh, is two. <laughs> so, oh, no. just so, for it. so what you so so what you have that is just your hunger dice. <laughs> All right. So it is it is, yep, it, is my... it is it is messy but not a critical because we do not get to five. Yeah. All right. So you have you have you've gotten yourself your your four successes. Uh, what's your question? Um, there are various oblivion ceremonies for the more advanced practitioner, uh, which involve potentially going into the Shadowlands. Uh, Funny enough, you know, it's like you didn't pay, like in your house. They don't talk about necromancy much, like. The milliners have always been like we are. We are. We are kind of the. We are. We are. We are in politics. We are in money. We are a. Uh, we contribute to the 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 uh, the stability and success of our family through our skill, not through our magic. But there are family dinners, and things get discussed at the dinner table, and with. Four successes, I will say that you have heard tell of a story when um, one of your cousins needed to make a break for it. He was on the lam, he was doing something he shouldn't have been doing, and he used the phrase into nothing. But he said it in Latin. Ex nihilo. And something about that 
as you're hearing this conversation, that phrase comes up into nothing, out of nowhere. Ah, fuck! What? And with that, uh, it is uh, about 8.30, <laughs> and uh, I think that's a good time for break. Is that like Giovanni version of the Null Zone? I'm sorry, what? Um, <laughs> You'll find out after the break. I, I, that's where my brain went. That has nothing to do with this game. <sighs> okay. Right, folks, we're going to take a, a little while. Um, yes, we will uh, BRB. I'm going to, uh, once again, attempt to run an ad so that uh, it ha can happen, makes Twitch happy, and does not... Uh, stop anybody from actually hearing us and we'll be back in how long jason um let's say 10 do we do 10 we can do 10, yeah, good 10. To okay cool all okay. right see folks yeah. soon
microphone's on. There we go. I think we're back. I think we're back. Hello, hello. Hey. Hello. We seem to be back and we are set. Good, good. So, um, welcome back to uh, the second part of today's session. Uh, I believe we left off on oh fuck, right? Mm -hmm. Sure did. No, not not oh fuck. <laughs> ah fuck. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Oh, gonna get it right. Ah, comma, fuck, period. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. The kiss. Yes, that's an old joke. <laughs> uh, you okay Natalie there, just Kathy? sort of snaps her head over. Yeah, what's up? Are you okay what? there? So I was wrong about something. Oh? I know it happens a lot. Just don't be, don't be shocked. Um... So apparently, people who are way better at this shit than I am can use chalk or charcoal and a handy dandy human sacrifice to basically split a hole into the shroud to either issue usher a wraith through or if they are spooky enough for it to usher themselves through to walk through the Shadowlands. A That's a pretty essential sacrifice. Additional element, yeah. Yeah. Should what, what like a complete one? Well, so uh, only trying to kill that dude wouldn't have worked, right? You need to actually actually right. do it. I assume you don't get partial credit. Uh, no, usually okay. not. Only in Does that mean they killed somebody in Harvard? Uh, was the, the, there a murder? Entirely in possible. Entirely. Would possible. they have taken the body with them? I mean, also entirely possible. Can they, like, yeet it through the door? Pretty much. It basically... Okay. It involves... It involves silk sheets. Not like that, you perverts. You basically, you murder yeah. the dude against it. There's, there's chalk involved. And then it just, like... And into the Shadowlands you go. And Bob, your uncle, and and you leave the the dead body there, and you don't even have to clean up. I don't know. I've never done it. It's okay. that's above my pay grade. Can they be? Uh, can, I can it be tracked into there, followed? Uh, uh, Not by what I do. Do you have like people you can ask, Kathy? Who are those yes, people yes, who I know do. better than you? Uh and <sighs> but who Daddy wanted me that? to come down to the <laughs> compound at some point. Who do I take I... that message from us so bad? Fuck if I know. Let's not That's assume another part of the mystery. Let's not assume that it was somebody wanting to take the message from us. I continue to believe that it might have been more important that somebody was taking something of Iverson's from one of her couriers, regardless yep. of who it was going to. We are incidental. Question. Are there folks other than, as far as you know, are there folks other than y'all, meaning your family specifically, I guess, but maybe broader than that, that can do that kind of thing? Like, would it definitely be someone in your extended family rather than family family? <sighs> More often than not, if something like that is happening, it's us. Um, right. There's some fuckery involving the La Sombra. They could... I am told that they might be able to, but they probably would have to have somebody on our side teach them. And that is... Um... A no-no? Depends on who you ask. Is it it's definitely not common. Are we talking, like, level of uh, state secrets here kind of deal? Or... Uh... Apparently involves something that happened, uh, uh, at least within the past decade. I don't know the specifics of it, but there's just been some, like, wires crossed and streams crossed. I don't know. That is above my pay grade. Sounds uh, like drama. Mis mystical bullshit. Um, ah, mystical bullshit. Okay. See, that's more but my yeah. pay grade, but drama is not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's my, my alley, usually, but not, you know. Right. I'm, I'm going to have to make some calls. Is that where we're going next, then? Uh, I mean... It's a two and a half hour drive. Oh. 
so we yeah, could. I mean, it's but probably would... easier now. It's at least not very trafficy this time of night to go there. It's not very trafficy, and it's relatively early. Since we seem to be doing the round robin of like, do people know what the heck is going on? I we don't have to go anywhere, but I might want to check in with Xavier. Just probably a good idea. Just see, sometimes he knows about things that I don't. Is he on the way? Xavier is a quick SD question. Sure. Are all, most of the Camarilla members in Boston proper? Most of them are. Yeah. I mean, it okay. is. It is. Um, Boston is a place that the Camarilla has been able. At least, Boston proper is a place they've been able to defend pretty well. So, um, if you are a Camarilla member, you're probably in Boston proper, or you have a really good reason not to be. We'd kind of have if we were going, unless he was meeting us somewhere. If we were going to go see him, we'd be kind of going into the city to go out, but that's not necessarily terrible. It's up to you. It's your I car. Mean... I imagine it'd be short. Yeah. Like, he'll either know just... stuff or he won't. Call ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, so, course. you know, just in case, you know, I... and at that point, you know, if Don't Xavier decides to call show everything or not. up in Camarilla territory without calling ahead generally well yeah it's polite yeah i mean mr mitchell understands of course uh, it's quite, not right. Fucking... quite right don't be stupid um mr bloom has mr bloom has made um has made it clear all right but we can we can make a call if he happens to be free tonight and you all want to we could say hi to xavier um all right Ah, hey, Jason. Yeah. Uh, how close? Okay. Does the Camarilla in Boston divide mm -hmm. their territory by clan? Um, not express. There are some okay. clan holdings, but there aren't like you know. It's not like, uh, you know, the Malkavians do not have like it's they don't. It's not like they're 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 perfectly divided into like clan holdings. Um, it's they're, they're sort of like. Once the once um, Iverson took off uh, took took took, um, took Praxis, um, they sort of decided that they needed to work together more than they needed to have individual clan holdings. Uh, why do you ask? Uh, because if the answer had been yes, the next question I would have asked was: Is Malkavian clan tori ad territory adjacent to Toriador clan territory? And it uh, doesn't matter because that's not how it's divided. Right. Uh, I mean, do you want a? Is there a particular Toriador that you want to uh, interact with? That that was not the plan, but okay. it could be somebody else's avoid. plan. It could be somebody else's plan, depending on that. That's up to you. Understood. That's uh, that's the reason I was asking. Oh, gotcha. No, no. Um, um, messy backstory. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, leave yeah that, I leave that up to it's you. It's true. I understand. Uh, we will have time. We will have time. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, if we're doing a yes. two and a half hour drive. We might want to do that on the earlier side of the night, um, and the more local thing later. Why don't I try to reach out to him, and I'll mm -hmm. see if he's even free. Like, it doesn't have to be now. It could be later. Uh, but we'll see. Like, he, he may not be ready to see us. They may not be ready to see us. We, we don't know. I assume we would sure. reach out before going, or do you? Oh, yeah. That's Kathy. Okay. So we'll make some calls. All right. Um, you ring up Xavier. Uh, I assume he's phonable. Yeah, yeah. Um, he, I mean, it goes to, it goes to his voicemail, uh, just as it happens. Um, leave a message. Hey, Xavier, it's me. I, uh, I've had some stuff going on. I'm fine. I hope you're well, by the way. Sorry. Apparently there's a train in the background. My apologies. You know, it's Harvard. Uh, but, um, I had some questions for you and wanted to see if you were around to chat uh text is also fine i know you don't always use that but um yeah some weirdness going on and wanted to give you the skinny on some things and ask you a couple of questions uh feel free to be in touch i'll have my phone on hope you're okay left a message we'll see if when he gets back he does sometimes text but he's kind of mm -hmm. Well, I mean, should we go back to the house? I mean, we imposed enough on Henry tonight, I'm sure. 
Yeah, uh, sorry, pardon my language. Oh, no, 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 I'm, 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 I'm no, uh, I'm, I'm no Tyro. I can, I, I can handle, um, salty language. It's only, um, it's, it's less about the language and more about the subject matter. It's, uh, it is unsettling to hear that, um, those people who do not, I mean, using, forgive me, um, necromantic magics in the city of Cambridge and a potential human sacrifice, that's very much a transgression of uh, house yeah. and clan. Uh, I'll, forgive I'll me. It's old, it. old, 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 old language. I do apologize. Uh, there are more, there are multiple houses in multi and, but still multiple, uh, multiple houses and we, we're certainly not trying to, yeah. If that happened here, then it's very likely that if Prince Iverson hears about it, we will be on the hook for it. So, uh, I would... I'll look into it. That said, you probably want to keep an eye on things a little bit more closely around here. I mean, she mm -hmm. usually does lets you, you know, do your own thing, but, you know, if you wanted to keep it that way, definitely, you know, up to security. But <clears throat> she's not wrong. At least now you know where it happened in the area, so you have a good place to start. All right. Um, but yes, I will look into this for you. Sorry for the bad omen. <laughs> It's, I think we'll all be safer once this is resolved. Yeah. Well, good night. Thank you for your kind hospitality, Mr. Mitchell. Give my best to uh, all of yours. Thanks, we will do. Right. I get to yell at daddy because somebody's been poking into my mail. Every time. All the time, every time with the tower. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, so, are we driving to the Cape? Is that the plan? Did you want to call or not? Oh, yeah. I'm going to call. <sighs> Babe, twice in one week. What a, what a surprise. Somebody has been poking into my mail. Oh. Which mail? Who? Did what? For how many cookies? <laughs> Carmine's weird. It, more sense. Some, more context. Somebody with more wooji shit than I do stole something from a diplomatic messenger that was supposed to go to me and then fucked off to somebody else's turf and then proceeded to poof in the way that we usually poof. The way that we usually poof? Yes. Spooky shit. Right. Now, what kind of help do you need? I need to know who was fucking around in Cambridge and stealing my mail. Well, nobody, none of us were out there, so can't answer that for you. Well, none of us as in family. If there are any other uh, associates that I need to know about who have been fucking around, then uh, let's. Let's just say tampering with my mail is offensive. And I plan to take full offensive on whoever stole my fucking mail. Wouldn't be surprised. 
Wouldn't be you if you didn't. Uh, I'm taking it up on that visit. You free? We'll tell no to just set a plate. Thank you, Daddy. Set four. All right. Any uh, dietary restrictions I need to know about? Uh, well, I don't have any vegans, but there is one that is, uh, I'll explain on the way. Just make sure that there's one that can actually talk. All right. Love you, daddy. <sighs> Ciao, babe. <sighs> All right. Look, if they can't talk, they can't consent. That's fair. Also, I don't really have like a, a food preference. I have a bit of a mild intolerance, but that it probably won't come up. It's unlikely to come up. Such as? Uh, I assume we're in the car. Yeah. Presume, presume that we have moved the scene to. We're in a private Kathy's place. Car. That yes. seems important. Yes. Very old. Oh god, no. Absolutely not. Right, right, right. So I figured not a thing, but it is technically true. A thing. No. Not for us. No. Absolutely not. That's weird. Is there that? Yeah. That's weird. No. Uh, only if I want to take a nap afterwards. Uh, mm -hmm. So are we, visiting, are we visiting your, uh, your, are we visiting your daddy along the way, or no? Uh, I haven't heard back from him yet, so I imagine that if we're visiting him tonight, which could still happen, depending on how the evening goes, mm -hmm. uh, obviously, um, well, it might be near we'll the end. Plate. Yeah. Well, or first thing tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah we'll figure it out. Um, we'll figure it out. I mean, you know, we got, you know, we got comfy beds. If it turns out things go later and we can't get oh, yeah. in time. Yeah. Thank you for um, securing us a bite to eat. I know that that's probably important. Well, yeah. Not everybody can. I appreciate it. Yeah, just... It might be a little spicy, that's all. <laughs> uh, time passes. It's... Room. Yeah. It's, you know, a long, tiresome, traffic-filled drive. But eventually... You know, the people who don't way. know how to fucking switch lanes! <laughs> But eventually you guys make your way out to the Milliner Estate. Um, it's fairly large. It's it's not, you know, we're not talking like Hollywood Hills, but definitely like, you know, um, understated, but large. You know, you know, it's like, you know, there's at least one golf course. There's, um, a, a, you know, a, a number of different like gazebo, you know, like there, there, there's some stuff. Dang. Damn. You um, are led past security because they recognize Kathy's car. Uh, you are greeted at the door by the um, unsettling figure that drove uh, Enfys away. It's Lurch. I don't say that out of char in character. Of course you don't. You I sure? smile like Hi, that. Lurch. Okay, well then that's fine. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank you again. Yes, I, I appreciate it. If you want one for the house, we can get one. No, I think that's get one. Let's do. Not. They come in packs. No, I, I mean maybe, unlike... but no. Uh, uh, uh. He's far too unique to come in a set. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure. suit Never been to packs. That's oh my a, god. Just him saying that out of the blue broke me <laughs> for a second. <laughs> or the idea of that. Okay. All you right. are you are led inside. Uh there is a uh sitting room. Um you hear the sounds of people arguing. Um you can hear people talking in um you know Thick Boston accents. Some some voices um, uh, some voices seem to have the the, the weight of um, 
of 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 years behind them some of them are just like you know loud and brash um and eventually uh the door opens and um you are greeted by brian milliner uh brian milliner is um imagine um a stock trader from like 1987 <laughs> um hair um pomaded back um he's not dressed for business because it's late in the evening so what he's got is like you know um a a you know a polo shirt and slacks and uh docksiders and um you can see he's got you know um a couple of rings and a chain and he's he's um he's he's definitely like ready to receive guests but definitely this is his like you know you know it's the he, he was you know in for the night and mm -hmm. he goes babe you look fantastic so good Hi, to Daddy. see you and your friends Mwah. Mwah. yeah hello um this i am is brian milliner hi uh natalie Natalie, Emphis, Alexis. Pleasure to um, be back. Didn't expect to be back so soon. But no, yeah. no. Um, and Brian looks at um, Emphis, looks you up and down and says, You good? Are you uh, copacetic? Am I copacetic? Are you? Uh, have I had any brain ghost related problems? So far, I imagine not, or you would have told me. Right, right. I haven't noticed any um, additional communication that I would otherwise not expect, so I assume so. Right, right. And um, you are, and and I'm pretty sure that Carmine, you know, you know, dotted the eyes, crossed the T's, cleaned up any messes. I mean, much as he could. Absolutely. Fair. And if there's any, you know unwelcome side effects you might have anyway and i do appreciate all of your help i want to say that directly mm -hmm. sure sure uh so we've got you know it's the I, I told him you were coming so we've got at least some uh accompaniment um uh Right. Yeah. Sorry. Come on in. Um, I, 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 have you uh, had your uh, night? Have you had your pick me up yet? <laughs> I didn't mean Look, to interrupt. Kitten, it, kitten. It's it's not like that. I don't need to do it, especially not at the end of the night like this. This is fine. I have not actually had any of that this evening but if you'd like to do some we're we, we'd be funny got certainly got plenty uh, uh um I, i'm working but thank you you're working yeah who, who's got you working apparently a lot of people uh i let's let's take this out of foyer talk Fair enough. I hope you're just, I hope you're getting the kind of compensation you deserve. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, to the dining room. Um, as you make your way through, um, you hear a, a familiar kind of raspy voice. Um, hey, Kathy. It's Isaac. He is uh, here for dinner. I didn't know you'd be here. How you doing? Well, um, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing all right. Um, Brian said you were coming, and I didn't get to see you last time, so um, I figured mm -hmm. I'd stop by. I mean, Very I'm not. I mean, I can, you know, it's I'm 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 happy to. It's just you know, it's nice to see you. Um, Kathy, who's this? Introduce us. This is my older brother, Isaac. Isaac. Yeah, Isaac appears to be um, like in his late 40s, early 50s. He doesn't look, I mean, he looks 
significantly older than Brian, which is, you know, you know, the strange thing about the kindred. But he definitely has, you know, some... Probably about, like, a little older than what Kathy would be if she'd been allowed to naturally age. Mm -hmm. So when she says brother, she literally means mm -hmm. brother. Um, well, I'm glad to see you. How's the family? Oh, they're good. Um, Cassie is, uh, she's just graduating college. Um, oh, that's so great. That's yeah. right. She's graduating this year. Yeah. Um, we'll make sure to so, get her a nice graduation present. Nothing too ostentatious, though. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Um, she's, like a Jetta. She's, she's, what's that? Like a Jetta. Exactly. Yeah, she'll be, she'll be going, um, I think we're, we're, I'm gonna, we're gonna try to, I'm gonna try to send her uh, out of state, you know, get her, you know, get her to see someplace new. Um, mm -hmm. Of course, dad thinks she should go to, um, you know, one of the local places. I mean, he's pretty positive he can get her into whatever Ivy he, he I was about to say, she, mm, she's, she's a smart kid. She could probably do it on her own. She could, but you know, but what, once you yeah. start, once you once you start getting stuff, from, once you start getting gifts from the Miller family, you never really stop. That's true. That's absolutely true. Yeah. So when you know um, the name, you know the name. It's true, and we're legacies pretty much everywhere. Um, right. Um, so, yeah. You seen Trisha? You know, she had another engagement tonight. But okay. she said that she'd she'd stop by like if we're, if we're still here to, if you're still here tomorrow night she she's got happy to stop by but mm -hmm. no nah, tonight she had she had a, a prior engagement totally understandable I know she's been keeping herself busy right. unfortunately if you'll excuse me I've got some deeper business that I gotta talk to with uh with with cousin Brian over here so um of so course we'll, we'll definitely have an opportunity to sit down and chat I'm just. It's you. You don't want to know. He lowers his eyes a bit and says, "Yeah, probably." All right. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet like, you. Same, same. Absolutely. Um, we'll um, we'll I catch will... up. We'll talk. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Once I take care of this, I'll see if I can, you know, spend some time with you afterwards. You know, let let my friends, you know, have a tour of the house, and we can chat. Yeah, yeah, that'd be right. That'd be great. Um, and with that, Isaac kind of, uh, you know, dusts himself off and goes into uh, a side room. So that's Kathy actual... looks a little pained when after he leaves. So that's your actual like birth brother. <clears throat> yeah, I was a middle kid. You still get to talk to him. Yeah. What are you uh, upset about that? It's not... It's not... I'm not upset about, you know, being able to still spend time with my family. It's... More as... As things kind of progress, it might get a little bit harder and there'll be more things that I gotta talk about that... I... He shouldn't know just to keep himself safe. He's only so far in on all this. Yeah, he's not, yeah. He's... Uh, I, I wish I knew why I got picked instead of him. He's way smarter than me. He's got so much more. But, I don't know, maybe it's a family line thing, but... I don't know. I'm maybe, I was the, maybe I was the disposable one. I don't know. Well, we don't think you're disposable. No. Thanks. I appreciate that. I'm glad you still get to see him, even if that's kind of awkward past a certain point. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, still reminisce about old times. I can keep an eye on my, keep an eye on my niece. And, and buy her a talk Jetta. About... <laughs> oh, what yeah. Is, what is it with you and a Jetta? Oh, that's it's a child. very... It's a very reasonable car. 
He didn't seem to be keen on it for whatever reason. But... It's the car I got when I graduated high school. I the family that sometimes has expensive tastes, but you know. I was going to say, does he have brand loyalty to another car? Is this what this is about? I, I mean, like, seriously. Oh, he's a Ford man through and through. Uh, let's see. You can run a Volkswagen right into the ground. I mean, that didn't stop going until I came back here. Mm-hmm. All those two, kind of. <sighs> yeah. yeah that's anyway. Cool. Look, he, he got pissy at me because I got a Prius. So that was, like, we oh. seriously, like, he didn't yeah, talk to me for, like, know, two weeks. I will admit that I did not expect you, for whatever reason, to have a Prius when, when I noticed. I like I mean, them. Same size. They're great cars. So they're really cool. No, and they're economical. Is that too? Yeah, if you have to drive like, far, then it's good for gas. It's like I got money, but I don't got that much money, you know. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah. We should probably head to the dinner table. Yeah. Anything we should know about sitting down at the Is dinner table? Is Carmine gonna be here? I mean, that's okay. I don't know. Is your family that's going to be up. incredibly offended if I am not? Uh, hungry and would like to not have dinner well i did mention that at least we need one talking specifically so you can you know get consent i did at least think about you a little bit there and i appreciate that but if you have somebody who is you know uh here not of their own free will uh they can't give consent no. no no trust me we we have a lot of different things we need to keep an eye on which is actually probably i'm going to ask a little bit about that uh, alternate network too while we're here mm. oh yeah yeah i was gonna say i, I don't, don't know, know how much of it is through i don't know how much we do is through the, the the normal circulatory system if it's you know just through standard herd or if we're looking at other all suppliers or what i didn't you. really mention it at the time because duncan was acting like it was just kind of a known thing but like i don't know a ton about yeah it. more we info can... would be great yeah, no, we can talk about that a little bit more on the right back. All right. Off to the dinner table. To the dinner table. Oh, boy. Um, <laughs> you know, this is kind of short notice, so it's not like, you know, a, a, a full-on feast, and there's not like, you know, an entire, uh-huh. like, giant spread. But there are, but there is, you know, platters of, you know, antipasti and salad and food and mm. wine and there are, um, you know, nephews and cousins and people having dinner. You know, there is an older woman who is ready to serve out pasta, uh, and then you know, there you know, they they they've been there sort of eating, and then when you guys enter, they the conversation stops and they put their hands in their laps, and then uh, Brian. Uh, and uh, a few other vampires come in. Uh, people who um, you may have seen in passing, but not intimates. These are the Hakata that they could get on short notice. Not like, you know, you know, hey, uh, everybody come to town, but like, hey, Kathy is coming and she would like a family dinner, so uh, and you make it. And these are the people who could. Um, you've got uh, people. I feel underdressed. <laughs> you've got people who are dressed in like funny suits and uh, fashionable dresses. There are people who are dressed like they just got off the factory line. Uh, hands uh, kind of sooty and gnarled. Uh, there are. There's you know. Um, people of, you know, a number of different, you know, there are people who are of South Asian descent, people who are of African American descent, there are people of a lot of different um, cultures. Um, After the family reunion that united the clans of death into the Hakata, um, the table is bigger than it used to be. And although there is still family drama between different lines of blood, they do come together when uh, a meal is called. Um, and um, the people, the living people who were sitting and eating, uh, they stand up and each of them yields their seat to one of you. Oh, we're not getting yeeted. 
No, no, have a seat. You sure? Yes. The, 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 they, they look at you kind of funny and go, um, you can have some if you want to. Um, just we just need to clean up afterwards, I guess. Unless that's it a... smells really good. I'm no, I was going to say it smells amazing in here. Thank you. Uh, we, we, no, we, 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 we do try our best. Um, we, uh, you know, it, the, 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 the joke down. is that if we actually were repulsed by garlic, we'd never be able to get anything. Done. <laughs> it literally does lead to, uh, like, outbursts of laughter. No, no, I mean, uh, uh, poor, poor cousin Samuel. Oh, rough. Yeah. Ooh. I, I say to whoever I see them taking, thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Kathy takes a seat like it's the most natural thing in the world, nodding in gratitude to the person who has yielded their seat. Yeah. I try not to make too big of a thing, but I have that mm -hmm. equipped one. I have to at least be. Yep, for sure. Um, the uh, Brian uh, says, um, "We thank you. We welcome you as guests. We offer you our hospitality." Um, while you are in the house of milliner, no harm will befall you, else it should come on my head threefold. And the, the, the surrounding Akata say, and so we witness. And, and so, so we witness. Mm -hmm. And we appreciate your hospitality, Mr. Milliner. Uh, and, uh, with that, um, he sits down uh, and he idly takes the wrist of the person standing next to him and sinks his fangs into it. There is a spurt of blood and you can tell that the person he is feeding on is gritting his teeth. Uh, like slightly like tears welling up holding back but remaining silent mm. Mm. so what was so important that you uh that you decided you needed to come back all the way from boston well oh, i'm sorry uh, you guys can dig in too yeah thanks ah. Do I get a read on who next to me is apparently my meal? Like, uh, sure. Uh, sorry to interrupt. I just no problem. Like, oh, no, go right ahead. Sure, sure. Suddenly, no, no, sure. <clears throat> uh, of course, when you sink your fangs into this person, uh, uh she's looks to be like you know mid twenties, uh, rolled up sleeves. Uh, you can sort of see her visibly relax when the kiss kicks in. Uh, as she understands that she's being fed on by somebody who is not a member of the Hakata and therefore does not induce excruciating agony from being fed upon. And she like kind of like lets out a almost deep like, like, like a deep satisfied sigh, just like and and, and, and like almost leans into it. Uh, you want to check you get the the read off that person? Um I'm gonna yeah, say like, that is uh, wits and insight for you. Uh, I would, yeah, I would love to. I, I would have. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, wits, insight. No, I mean great. this was for uh, my volumes. Oh. Sammy is the one who asked about Unless you getting want to. the insight. Oh, you, can also, okay. you can also do something <laughs> if you would like. But no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, so what? What is my meal for the evening? <laughs> I don't uh, say that out of in character. I'm just curious. What have I got? Oh, I mean, you you have is. Uh, a younger person, uh, hard to tell exactly how young, but definitely like you know, uh, not a minor, but but like not a minor, yeah, no. yeah, 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 no, pro absolutely probably, not. Yes, you know, I probably a you know a a, a person who is like you know like you know young college, probably like you know definitely like on the you know um, probably you know still probably pretty new to all of this. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's their vibe? And by that I mean like. What do they seem like? Can I tell before I've fed, based on my ability? I mean, you haven't. I didn't see you do like a bite gesture, so I don't know if you've fed no, yet. No, 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 no. I was say I didn't know if uh, Bloodhound was pre or oh, during. Oh, uh, yeah, you can absolutely tell before. What's their vibe? 
Uh, let me see here. What's the? I'm gonna look and see what the system is for that. Five. Uh, mechanics question: Is there any benefit to drinking any blood if you're at hunger one? Because you can't go below one, right? Ah, uh, there is there uh, aside you can, from the, you can't aside go from below the, one if you kill someone. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> Sorry, the, right. the 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 answer is that like no, there is the aside from the the pleasure of doing it, there is no mechanical benefit from drinking when you are at hunger one. Okay, great. Unless actually, that's not true. If you are looking to um get a particular kind of resonance or otherwise like change what it is that you are right. uh that you are get your bonuses for, then there is a benefit to it. But for the most part, no. So, uh, yeah, sorry to absolutely. make you look that up while you're... Uh, nope, absolutely. Uh, give me a resolve and awareness check. Oh, God, right. Dice are involved in this. Um, dice are involved in this. Uh, resolve and awareness, you said? Yes, indeed. And I have Difficulty is three. Yeah. Let me see. And awareness is what? How much? Okay, 15. Boop. That's a lot of dice. It is. Only two successes, but it is nope. no three. three, success. three yep, successes. that is successful. That it is took successful. a minute for it to populate yep. for me. No worries. Successful. Okay, so uh, you take a whiff of this, uh, this person, and yeah, this person is um, sort of chill and thoughtful. Okay. You get the sense that this is um, of the phlegmatic humor. Which okay. is a kind that is often useful for Malkavians. It gives you uh, advantages on uh, seeing things more clearly. Uh, mask femme presentation. Uh, mask in this case. Uh, okay. But you know, thoughtful college age dude with yep. a phlegmatic look. Okay. Yep. Um, I I lean towards him and say, "Are you going to do this?" Like with a very friendly smile. Um, I'm not really supposed to talk. Oh shit! No, 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 it's, <laughs> they literally it's, do it's, like it's, giggle. It, it, it's cool. We're, we're we're supposed to be kind of like you know seen and not heard because like Sorry. we're Sorry. um you know this is uh I mean I can talk to you later but like while we're at dinner I'm kind of supposed to be quiet. Okay, cool. Sorry. All right. Yeah. So they basically very quietly go, "Nice to meet you." Wink at him and and leave. One look. Okay. Uh, okay, you're gonna, fair enough, or you can, you can slay, you can drink it up to slake one hunger if you wish. Yeah, I would like uh, to Likewise, uh, you, Joey, um, Natalie can drink it up to slake one hunger. Um, it, it, it is a, you know, just lower your hunger dice by one. Uh, it is a leisurely feeding because, well, you've got the time for it. But yes, uh, uh Jason, Brian. Uh, Jason, yep. just so you know, uh, Alexis thanks the person but does not partake. Okay. Uh, they, uh, look at you and say, and sort of like, they look a little, they look a little disappointed because, you know, they are in a... It's their job. It's the, yeah. yeah. But they're, 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 uh, they look over at, um, they look over at Brian as if to say, is this okay? And he's like, mm, go ahead. Yeah, it's fine. So, Brian, of Cassie. course. Brian, go ahead. When she goes and takes hers, you know, yeah. gently moves the sleeve aside, yep. grips the arm, yep. digs the nails in a little bit more before she does it, mm -hmm. before she takes that bite. Because, well, alley cat, they need to have a little bit of pain. Absolutely. And um, Brian is, is, Brian is, is prepared for that. You know, this person is, is, is at least a little bit um, able to like, you can, you can hear like the, 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 the sort of, Rat, the sort of like tortured whimper that comes from their throat uh and you pull out um this person is um slightly um this person is slightly you know not resigned but definitely like they you know, they, they would they would rather be doing something else what you get is a, what you have is a melancholic resonance currently mm -hmm. well but, they yeah. probably fucked up which is why yeah. they put they got spot they got the spot where Kathy was likely to sit mm -hmm. Cool. So, uh, Brian, uh, having you know sunk his his fangs in, like 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 uh, diving into a particularly hefty chicken leg. Um, so, uh, 
so what brings you what what is what what brings you what is it that that, that you called us here for um you said somebody stole something from you and you think there was something uh uncanny about it uh necromantic specifically So, last night, a messenger was sent from uh, the residence of Hazel Iverson, specifically to deliver a message and a couple of items to me and my compatriots mm -hmm. for a research request. That messenger was not only attacked less than a mile from where we have staked a claim. But they also stole the message, specifically with this prince's seal, fucked off all the way to Cambridge, which is currently Tremere territory. Absolutely. And based on the evidence left behind from the trail sorry, that was left such as it is cool all right sorry it is cambridge it cambridge is Tremere territory it's just you know there's no like prince of cambridge no baron yeah. of cambridge it's a protector yeah, yeah. you know it's cambridge it's Tremere territory such as it is Can anyway I... you were saying cool all right please where the trail went cold, there were telltale signs of the shroud being split. Now, last I checked, that's not necessarily something we share with other people. The only reason why I know about it is because I've heard about it, talk about it from all y'all. I'm fairly young and not necessarily uh, fully inducted into the various necromantic arts. There's a, I actually there's had to some... think about it to make sure that I understood that this was entirely a possibility before I even decided to uh, ask the question. There's some so, chatter in the background while you're talking, but yeah. Uh, if one of you or one of your agents happened to uh, take a, a message from somebody representing the Camarilla interests, in Boston. That was a message that was partially addressed to me. Speak up now. And this will be painless. Mostly painless. <laughs> Shut up, Nathan. No, 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 no. I'm 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 curious. What is it that you think you're gonna swing here? It's more along the lines of it's going to cause some diplomatic incidents that I have to deal with. And if I have to deal with it, well, let's just say I know Grandpa Francis was none too happy about having to leave Boston in the first place. Whoever the fuck is doing this, keep this up. We will never be in Boston again. Let's break it down easier. No, we don't like sharing our secrets. But ever since eh, turn of the millennium, the advances in uh, necromantic study have offered some insights to people who aren't us. That's one of the reasons why we had the family reunion in the first place. Make sure that we can consolidate the information we had. Now, I don't think anybody at this table would have stolen your mail. I am right about that, right? Uh, taking a look at everybody at the table. What's an, in sure an insight? I can do that. Hey Jason, can I yeah. uh, can I like heighten senses <laughs> to notice more things potentially? 
Say again? Can, can you uh, heighten? Can yep. I can heighten your senses? Yeah. Just sure can. Yep. And like on the hopes that that will let me observe the the family. Absolutely. Dinner. When you when when you next make your uh, when you next make rolls, you can add your aspects to things. All right. Uh, that is two successes. Two successes. Um, nobody is giving anything away that you can pick up. They are. Uh, if they are lying, they're 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 hiding it well. Most of them seem to be like, nope, wasn't me, didn't do it, wasn't there. Well, that's good at least. Uh, am I able to do the equivalent of sense motive on them and like see sure. if I that's, notice anything? That's a that's a wits and insight plus your aspects because okay. you got your heightened senses Let's on. See. So that's... Two plus where the hell is insight? Two plus three is five, and my auspex is two, so that's seven. Mm -hmm. And one of them is special. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, that's too many. Uh, six and one of these. Wow, that was a lot of not successes. Yeah, that is that is a that is a one success. I okay. I I would like to. Can I re-roll some of those? Sure can. If you spend a willpower, you can re-roll up to three of them. All right, let me do that because I got all of that willpower back. I might as well use it again. Mm -hmm. Hang on, let me find where I mark that down. The only one you can't re-roll is the hunger die. So. Yeah, but I had so many others. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we had one success, and we're gonna re-roll three of the like. Five that weren't successes. Two more successes. All right, three successes. All right, uh, you um, you look over this crowd. Um, these are these are cold-blooded vampires. Most of them are like I like. Not all of them have are as far like some of them are pretty far gone. Like like you can see the same kind of pallor that Kathy has on some of their faces. Um, they are very good at keeping their 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 faces even, their voice calm. Uh, you your eyes cast over like a number of different people and you're looking for signs of deception and it's really hard to make anything out. Let me uh, make a die roll of my own here. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, you have... You Oh, okay. Five. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It is yeah, the 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 you cast your eyes over them and although you catch a couple people like giving you funny looks as you sort of like cast your eye from person to person, they're not giving anything up. Okay. Okay. So now, returning. If now, if any of you do hear about a message that was intercepted that was supposed to go to the study group, that's us. Pass it along, including the tokens that came along with it. We have an inventory of what we're supposed to be expecting. So if that makes it into my hands, no harm, no foul. All right, Kathy, we'll uh, keep an ear out for it, just in case. Thank you but, all so very, very much. But there's something we're going to need from you. I'm sure that can be arranged. Lay it on me. <sighs> Cousin Andreas. Andreas Giovanni. He has received a similar note to the kind you're talking about came from Iverson? Mm, yeah. I heard about that. So, let me tell you what 
let me tell you something that we haven't been talking about outside these walls. Uh, do I need to uh, request that my friends stand outside? Oh no. Okay. We know that if it come, if we know that if it leaves, it was one of them, and if it was one of them, then it comes out of your ass. So noted, yeah. and she looks at the rest of the study group very carefully. I I like this ass, so nothing will come out of it. I like that ass too. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> I, I'm this sorry. Are we glad about that they were not... ass? Yes. Okay. Yes. In, in, in an allegorical in an allegorical way. I mean, it's a very nice ass. proverbial ass. ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, the heels help. I mean, really. Oh, that's true. <laughs> When you look at Enfys, their look was before before Nat said anything. They're like, I don't know. They're talking about ass now, and I know what they mean, but I'm trying to keep a straight face, and then Nat spoke, and they're like, awesome, I'm covered. I can laugh at that. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it is, you have... Uh, so this is family history time. In the long ago, back... Before there was a Camarilla, before there was, before the, the rules were laid down, vampires reigned strictly by personal power. They ruled by night and commanded the people who dwelled in their domains. And when we took the Shroud of Night, when we became what we are, we were very good at what we did. We were able to use our knowledge of the realms of the living and the dead. We had the money of Venice, the, the loyalty of of mercenaries and soldiers we were we were a force to be reckoned with but in time there were wars italy was riven by strife europe was riven by strife and so when the camarilla made itself when they founded their their little secret society their little room they struck an agreement with the clans of death and they said and we said in 1528 that we promise stay out of their politics we would hold no domains we would claim no princedoms we would stay out of it and in exchange they would not bring their uh their forces their churches he looks directly at natalie their witches they would not bring them to bear against us and we have abided by these rules for 500 years. Those 500 years are coming to an end. And we are negotiating how things will be apportioned in the future. The Considering time... there's uh, the clans of death are now uh, considerably expanded. I mean, technically, the middle owner family wasn't really part of that negotiation, now was it? We would have gotten a lot more out of it if we were. Time flies like an arrow. We can only go forward from where we are. But our Scottish kin, our Latin kin, our new South Asian kin, all of us we are branches off of that great tree going all the way back to 
he called us shore of Cappadocia way back in the day. We did not sign it, but we are bound by it because that's how the lines of blood work. And so I think that one of the things was this being sent out is something tied to that. I think that as anarchs, and so not tied directly to uh, the two signatories on that promise, there may be something that you were supposed to look at, supposed to learn about. Because yeah. the thing about the promises is that there are it's like the Declaration of Independence. There's four or five different versions floating around there, and no one has the authoritative one, and most of the people who were there don't remember it. Because when your forefathers have mastery over mind control, it's easy to take memories away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so it sounds like Iverson has reached out to Andreas and Duncan Gallagher. Uh, apparently, he wants some sort of meeting. Iverson. Well, Iverson was the one who sent it. Right. Now, I suspect that whatever business that she had with us may have been related, but not necessarily directly related to that. That sounds right to me. But somebody wanted it bad enough to kill to stop it from happening. Yeah. And somebody else wanted it bad enough to use one of our most powerful ceremonies to help them get away with it. Yeah. This is why I wanted to check in first with the uh, most authoritative source and to make sure that somebody wasn't trying to break the promise early. Because then that makes my life difficult. And then the heads I have to bust are family heads. And I don't want to bust family heads. Oh, believe me. We would probably... That, that, that wouldn't go well for either of us. No. So. And naturally, since uh, the Tremere and Cambridge were... Not exactly pleased to hear that that might have been a possibility. I told them I would look into it. So that's part of the reason why I'm here. And also because I have a personal stake. Well, well let me say this about that. We are, we are happy to put the execution on this in your hands. We're, we are still enjoined by the promise until we have this meeting. And uh, you have certain leeway to act where you are. I bought that for you. And I continue to re-up it over and over again, like saving the prince's ghoul's life after, well, the theft in question because it left him you know bleeding out on the compass rose and it was not it was not pleasant but i made sure that he was taken care of and that he was properly brought back to his mommy uh was able to heal was all that so you know wait wait did you put your vitae in the princess yes goal? i did <laughs> <laughs> he did not like it but I'm, hey I'm, I'm, he I, I can only, I, at the I, time I imagine the prince didn't like it much either. <laughs> well, you know what? It was either that or he dies. So, you know. <sighs> well, he didn't have much must. of a choice. They like saying that, needs must. It's no, it's uh, absolutely appropriate. Mm -hmm. But yeah. He oh, he he made he made the he made the pucker face. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> no, no, but seriously. Uh so yeah. Uh, in your copious free time, we'd like to know who this guy was, too, and, uh, mm -hmm. how he got away with it. Well, whoever it was, it was fast. 
he might have had the body stashed. Um, it was. I thought you guys had the body. No. No. He the was body somebody he... who lived. He had to have killed someone. He had to... he so, had, I mean, I so guess. Last I checked, this requires a human sacrifice and a scalpel that was put into somebody living. I'm fairly certain that the scalpel that was put into somebody living was put into that ghoul. Now, as far as the human sacrifice, that's a completely separate thing. I don't know if it just like got pushed through. I didn't see any blood afterwards, mm. did you, Natalie? But like, no, it's also could have been. It also could very well be a setup. All we found was you the can't problem. push. You can't push the corpse through the hole. Mm. Doesn't work. And this is somebody had somebody somebody would have to have taken the body away. Uh, no, okay. we did not. Uh, we did not find any blood. We found chalk. So either so so either somebody did a very good job of cleaning up, or somebody's trying to set us up. I believe the setup part. Yeah. Yeah. Considering the so, politics we just heard about. Yeah. Um, anyways, the thing and you want me to do. To start an inter a good way to start an intersect war would be to have necromancers come onto Thaumaturge's territory and mm -hmm. perform magic. Yeah. I remember. I mean, okay. I don't remember, but I remember my sire telling me about wizard wars. They're uh, they're no they're no good. They're they're no good. <laughs> yeah. for, the, for the wizards either, honestly. Yeah, we don't we don't. Well, the less of this shit we gotta deal with, the better. So we'll we'll continue to look into it. Right. Um, I've um, got a few fingers and a few pies, but I wanted to make sure that this one was. Hey, what you what you get up to on your own time is your own business. But you get the idea. I do. I do. <sighs> Um, Brian. Yeah, you hear anything? Y'all let me know, okay? Uh, always. Uh, he just starts. He scratches his head a minute and says, uh, "Actually, this is going to be a long night. I may actually need some, uh, uh, um, something Bolivian." Anyway, uh, do you guys have a? Do you guys have a place to stay, or are you going to head back to uh, across the water? We're probably going to head back across the water. We don't necessarily we we don't want to impose any more no, than we no, already no, have. No, no, absolutely. I mean, like Kathy, your family. You could always ask for us. That's just it's just the way we it's just the way we do things. I mean, um, that's fair. At the same time, I also know that y'all have so much. Y'all have busy lives. Y'all have shit you got to do on your own. And I very much appreciate all y'all coming out. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you've already provided so much for us. Mm -hmm. It was very <sighs> well. When you go back to your uh, your own um, your own holdings, just remember that the Milliner family treated you right, or tried to. Absolutely. <sighs> and as for you, she looks up at the, the the person she fed from. Whatever you did to put yourself in this position, don't do it again. You hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. All right. Mm. There is, there are goodbyes. There are arrangements mm -hmm. made. Uh, this has taken, it was two and a half hours to get here. Uh, mm. Dinner was about two, three hours or so. Just, you know, having all of this take place, the story is the dinner, mm -hmm. heading back. And, you know, checking in with, you know, checking in with Isaac again because, well. Of course. Yeah. He's my brother. I love him. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, as a brief aside, since it's yeah. since that's most of the evening, they do in the goodbye portion see if they are actually able to talk to whoever that dude oh, was. Absolutely, they can. I will I'm not just, take I, long I, with yeah. that. Like, no, it's okay. I, just leave it. I, I don't know how <laughs> yeah, this works. Get yeah. them this All right, is a so whole yeah. thing. But okay, like... so right, what you've got is you know this is you know this is Kevin. Um... <laughs> Hi, Kevin. No, um, fucking yeah. Kevin. So. So yeah, no, there's like basically a brief conversations. It's like, sure. this, is, no. this is after, this is go. Um, yeah, 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 like, sure. I mean, now that, now, I mean, like we are, we are, you know, I mean, we're done with, uh, we're done with the meal and I haven't been officially sent to my room or anything, so. Did they send you to your room? Is this how this works? I mean. Sorry. I don't mean it like that. Kinda. I, mean, I mean, like, I mean, uh, Look, miss, I don't know what things are like where you're from, but like, 
here in this family we have a lot but we have we're responsible for a lot you know and you know they want us to rest up after especially when like you know like you know we're, we're not like you know we're, we're supposed to keep ourselves healthy and and you know attend to our studies and do you know basically we have to keep we have to like keep ourselves in good condition otherwise people might pick right. something up so that stuff yeah happen. i yeah. get you i get you are you so, a are you a college student like in town then uh, ah. yeah yeah um yeah i go to a community college just you know uh, over in in, in barstool county oh what are you studying if it's okay uh, to ask. sure sure uh i am i am in i'm in accounting cool yeah i uh, it's it's you must the, be good at math yeah yeah um you know it, it's 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 good steady work and you know um there's always a need for people who can you know keep the books right and you know it means that i don't have means i can like go uh further afield maybe you know um ah. you know i've been there you know the credits do transfer to brown um we've got some people out in rhode island now it's oh that's cool, cool. yeah I've heard good things about Rhode Island. It can be a fun place. Providence is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. I um I part of what I studied was programming. Look at Evans hitting on seven. <laughs> part of what I studied was programming, so that has a lot of math in it too. Mm -hmm. But I uh, I ended up working for video right. games for while I did. Oh, what do you what do you do? Wait, wait, what, what 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 like are you in, are you are you in graphics? You look like you're in graphics. <laughs> I um I don't this do a. Cute. I don't do a lot of graphics and design, although I knew a lot of people who did. I actually did narrative. I'm a writer. Really? Yeah. Uh, anything I'd heard of? Uh, a lot of my stuff was fairly uncredited until the kind of, you know, so, um, and they do literally playfully, but it was okay. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, I do some indie stuff from time to time. Do you like video games? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's I didn't the, know if I, you got much to like time to get yeah, to do yeah. fun stuff. I mean, sure. I mean, like you know, they 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 prefer to be staying in our rooms. You know? This is so cute. Oh, good. I'm glad. Um, I didn't. I didn't really know. I've not been here here before, so I've not get done anything. But I wanted to make sure, at least, that like I know this is a thing you're probably like trained for and stuff, but that it was okay. Kathy, Kathy, for you. get his number for her for them. Um, they're gonna handle it just fine the i mean we are whispering quietly to ourselves yeah, and no, some, some of us don't you know sure. have faith so i mean is it, it, is well. it, are you kidding this is literally what they do so, um, yeah, the the answer of is it okay i mean i mean it kind of is i mean i am i mean part of them I mean, it's the milliner family secret this is what we are I, and so there's only I mean, this is how you become part of it at least a little bit i mean okay. i'm not like you know no one is you know no one's made any offers to me or anything like that but like you know you grow up in this family and you learn things you hear things and either you take part or they send you away and uh, i don't want that so that's fair but i i appreciate knowing that and i figure that's kind of the the more ethical standpoint of it yeah. it's not something i can and, 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 and to be clear uh um it's kind of a privilege to let somebody else do it because it you know what how do i say this you know what we're like right i get a sense yeah right so it's better if we I mean, it's, it's kind of a privilege to be like you know uh a guest attendant you know sure i just wanted to make sure beyond the moral ethical quandary that I was okay to you. Because even though I know this is your thing, it matters to me that this was an okay experience for you. Um yeah, yeah, it was fine. You were you were you were good. It's it's, it's right. The flirting was okay then. That was fine. <laughs> they said yes. grinning. Yes, yes. It, it, it was fine. Some people like that. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, how about how about this? I don't use this email for much, but and and I'm giving to you this knowing that some people can do weird stuff with paper. I'm aware of that, but whatever. Um, fine. You may not be allowed to, and if so, you destroy this at your leisure. But if you are allowed to, to just have a friend, that's cool by me. And we can play games on Steam. It's up to you. Thank you. 
I'll, 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 I'll keep this. Cool. Yet I don't want to overstep. But... Brian, don't you dare take away away from him. <laughs> Before they, and, and if you you probably heard my name, I'm Memphis. Memphis, Memphis? like like the city in Tennessee. <laughs> no, it's it's a Welsh actually, E N F Y S. It's pronounced kind of with a V though, and this it means rainbow. Enthus. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, I'm, my Irish is pretty bad. My Welsh is not existent, but I'll try it. <laughs> it's sweet enough that you tried. Do you want to hug the bike? Uh, is that allowed? Is that okay? It's okay. With yes. Kevin? Yes, it's okay. No way. <laughs> All right. Um, Poor Kevin is like, there, here's the, Kev, there, yes. this is He's so confused. The cheerleading section I, over here. He's so confused. I'm trying, I'm like, they're fine. They're fine. Like, all right, he, he puts his arms around you and he kind of melts into your embrace, kind of. Uh, you can hear his heartbeat kind of pounding. Good the blood in his veins is kind of like, one. yeah, like, like, like the blood in his veins is kind of like sweet. Um, definitely like shifting toward a more sanguine demeanor. Yeah. If you are like looking for presence, that would be a thing to do. Um, yeah. his, you know, it's the, his, his, his body is warm against yours. They um, give him a gentle hug. Um, like, you know how some people hug if they're affectionate, they might stroke the back of their head just briefly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does that and just kind of whispers, you got this, Kevin. <laughs> and then let's go. If anybody hurts Kevin, I will kill everybody in this room and then myself. No, he's a sweetheart. He's a sweetheart. Anyway, yeah, so that happens. For sure, why not? Okay. Um, after Everyone the, is freaking after, out. No, 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 this is no, so great. No. After, after the long goodbye, um, you guys get into your car and you head back. Um, there is a the text entire message. entire car ride. <clears throat> like, I literally, the minute the like, doors are closed. Oh my God! Tell us everything. What do oh, you he just... <laughs> He's he's a sweetheart. He's a puppy. Like like in a good way. Like he's he seems very nice. He's clearly trying to do well by the family. He he was he liked getting to just sort of chat with somebody, and I wanted to make sure he felt okay with it, and he did. And so, and he likes video games, so that's cool. So we were gonna talk about the circulatory system on this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah. shit. You know, I mean, oh uh, yeah. I, I I mean, this is so much more interesting. <laughs> we can talk about this. Look, sure. He has my I'll email address. We can always talk about this later. Like. Okay, okay. He's a sweet, fine, he's fine. a sweet guy. Fine, fine. Yeah, let's, let's go. Right. He's also much younger than me. We got a lot of, we got well, a lot of things to look into. I and I should we probably get some message. Oh, maybe. I don't know, Jason started saying oh, something about text message. I did, I did. I just didn't want to interrupt. This was more interesting. Yeah, yeah. You know, this anyway, was amusing, yes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, who gets text yeah. message? Uh, it was um, Enfys. Uh, it is Xavier oh, who okay. texts back and says, uh, Sorry, I was indisposed. Um, feel free to ping me tomorrow tomorrow night. He was busy, but uh, we can go see him tomorrow night if we want. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So now we can go home. We can get back in our PJs. And we can talk, squee and talk about boys like we're teenagers again. Um, How's that sound? Do we have to? We... It's all a Alexis, you you got light up. Have you never seen me do my thing? Like that is what that is. I mean, not that it was about Kevin. It was absolutely about Kevin. But that's how I do the thing. That's part of how I do the thing. That's fine. But it's very personal. It's very personal, and it's very about the person, and that's important. Well, I, I mean, like that, I said, that's fine. Don't hurt him. Do it. That's all great. I just don't Feeding, yeah. think we need to talk about it all night in our PJs. No, no. It was, it was nice to get to chill with somebody who kind of knows about this through another vector, and therefore it makes mm -hmm. it easier. I don't have to be mm -hmm. like, boo -ga -da -boo, you don't know about things. Like, that's nice. Yeah. yeah. Now, I will say, if you break his heart, I will kill you. That's fair. I mean, I, I'll put it out I, there now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't plan to. And... Okay. Um, if there's any concerns, we'll chat like adults. Excellent. Yeah, he seems nice. I didn't give any sense that this was like we're dating or anything. Like, my God, he's, he's, did, 
<laughs> he, 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 and as they he, head he, back he, up the freeway, Kathy not. busts Pomplamoose's buster kneecaps just because she can. That's her. <laughs> All right. It is now 9.58, okay. uh, which means I believe we are at the end of our uh, allotted time for streaming. Is that correct? I that believe correct. so. Uh, I do want to make sure we remember that we do get the uh, lowdown on the circulatory system on the drive back. Which I out of character don't know uh, anything about as well. Ah uh, so. yes, actually we we have a couple more minutes. So um... yeah. circulatory system. Yeah. So this yeah. is a, no. basically uh, it's like DoorDash for blood. Let's be real. Uh, you can find different types of uh, of vitae depending on what you're looking for. If you're looking for something specific for either training purposes or if you're looking to feel a certain way. Um, it's not like, you know, kind of cultivating your own vineyard, as it were. But, you know, if you need, like, if you need something specific and you're, and you're in a little bit of a rush. Um, naturally, I participate in it because sometimes I can't always, you know, necessarily find somebody specifically that I can, you know, beat the shit out of and eat. But, you know. It's not something I draw on too often because of my own predilections. But it is an option if I need it in an emergency. Where do these people come from? I don't ask. And they don't tell. Got it. But usually if you need somebody who can consent, that is an option. And so this is the thing that they're wanting us to Sort of there apparently is an, a competitor with and while competition can naturally be good oh no oh no we need to be we need to find out about the the grub hub to their doordash uh, pretty much okay cool at the same well competition isn't necessarily bad you don't always necessarily right. know the provenance of the merchandise right, right right i i know alex just don't give me that look this is just this is it's just shorthand. And this competition is who he wants us just... to look into? Yeah. Okay. Huh. I would not be surprised if it's somehow tied to people trying to cause shit. Uh, Usually it is. Yeah. Somebody is just trying to be uh, one of them disruptor people. This is this is Boston. This is not San Francisco. We don't this put up with that shit here. Economy. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Oh, good. Uh, more, or, or or if you um, introduce a tainted supply of food mm -hmm. into a population, you can level that population. Yep, it can cause problems. Yeah, we do not want it to become a liability. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah. Yep. Their security has always been a. Uh, primary concern when the circulatory system is involved. Right. Fair. But yeah. yeah. So we'll learn more and we'll see if it's a thing we can do. It's true. We have now reached the end of uh, session three. Uh, we're going to take, we will, um, this is the end of our, of the first part of our story. Uh, we're going to take a one week break uh, after this and we'll come back on the 20... 29th of april at an at a at a different time than normal at 8 p.m yes. rather than 7 p.m eastern one hour later yes. yep one hour one hour later uh let's see here i wanted to thank our moderator ms mad duck yes. i wanted to thank uh triple d dice uh who operate the cool dice platform that we use uh i wanted to uh uh, say you can find me at aviaryeditorial.com or uh, Jadask pretty much everywhere. Um, I wanted to say that it has been fun running this, and I hope you guys come back for part two. Uh, anybody else want to uh, drop a plug or otherwise talk about what you're doing? Uh, I want to thank uh, E. Lovart here, here on Twitch, who made our lovely Bitey book logo down there in the corner we appreciate it greatly and uh you know as always i want to thank jason for running things thank you jason you're awesome um but yeah 
Uh, and I... big thank you to Miss Mad Duck for being yes. our fantastic moderator. Yes. Yes. Thank you. And uh, causing causing mischief and mayhem where appropriate. And thank reminding you. us to hydrate. Yes. I do yeah. have one silly thing. It's not particularly prevented or anything, but uh, uh, I do occasionally stream other places at other times. There is a slight chance that tomorrow sometime in the evening that doesn't help anybody, but it exists. It will be on my channel, which you can see the name, Spirit Chrysalis, uh, and that it will... Um, I don't know what it'd be streaming. Probably some video game with or without makeup. It is near my birthday, and every once in a while I do that. So if Yay. you like Twitch streams and you are home and bored and you see this name pop up, you are welcome to come by and say hello. Go follow. Yes, go follow. Um, How much creepy video games? And actually, uh, the weekend of our next game, uh, I will actually be uh, specifically uh, attending the, sp the stream from... Uh, Heliosphere, uh, which is a sci-fi convention uh, in the NYC area. It's actually going to be in um, New Jersey. It's that particular weekend, so um, I will probably be presenting a few things. I might be running a game. I don't know yet, uh, but come say hi. That does not work. I'm a horrible Luddite and have no presence on social media. I stream on this channel, usually uh, either Sims building or various cozy games, uh, and now also this. So, hey, and if and if you and if you like this, tell 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 Anna and make sure we can see see if we keep on doing it. We're we're having a blast. We just want to make sure that like people Yay! enjoy watching us as we like doing it. Um... <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, and uh, yeah, we'll see folks in two weeks, and. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Rathmore TV likes this, Jason. There you Yay. go. <laughs> and we like you too, Rathmore TV. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Thank you for making it messy. Yes. Oh, yeah. We have a messy I... saved, don't we, technically? Uh, we, no, we, oh, we, we did. No. We used all two. We used them. Oh, we, we, yeah. we, we used them both. It's just that it was, it was, we had the, we had the, the, the misfortune that, uh, uh, there were four successes, but we needed five for the actual critical. Uh, yeah. Next time. But yes, I you can you always. Needed, I have not. I yet thought you only needed two tens. Become... That's that. Well, that's, that's true. That, that that is to get that is to get four successes, but you need to have a critical first. I you thought a critical was two two tens, so you could nope. get a critical on two dice. It was yeah. not, not a critical. Fair enough. Critical yeah. win. We will, we will, At the we same will, time, it is involving me. Yeah. yeah and yeah. I will make it messy. That's. Legit. If somebody asks we'll, me to make it messy, I will make it fucking messy because we'll I love you all. We will make it go. Going to defile myself. <laughs> oh my god. We are here for it and I am excited. <laughs> oh yay. Good night, E love. All right. All right. All right. Good night, All right. everybody. Good night, Bye, everyone. Everybody. Good night. Be yeah. well. Good night. Thank you for yeah. coming.